Hi everyone, welcome Hello back. And welcome. <laughs> and welcome. Uh, we're here at our new table set up. So I think we'll have a little bit more room going on. We're really excited to and be in our new space. If you haven't checked out the video we posted today on what our new Lego setup looks like, uh, you'll be, I bet you'll be surprised. It's really, really cool. So today Brian is building the one, um, which we, <laughs> we don't have a box to show you because it was part of the used set that we got, but the headquarters is finished. Oh, look at that. Yes, so we're gonna build, oh, oh. There we go. Um, we're gonna build that to go with um, the headquarters that we just finished building on the last live stream. And I am working on book two of the pet shop. So I'm actually building the actual pet shop side of it today. I finished up the townhouse portion of it. Hey, random kid, how's it going? Um, we Welcome finished back. I finished this part up on my own last night and started the pet shop bottom. Because now that we have all of our new tables in place, I'm actually amazed at how much space we have. And now I'm like, we need to build more. We need to build faster <laughs> um, so we can get our, our layout going. Uh, so we're gonna finish, uh, finish up uh, this module today. See how far we get. I'm on bag threes. I'm taking over most of the space. Do you have enough room? Hey, Darla Bricks. Hey, Darla Welcome back. Bricks. Glad you guys are here. This is kind of an impromptu. Well, I'm always saying that. I feel like we need to get like a schedule down, but I'm not there yet. Um, because my mom said she was visiting today and she doesn't actually tell us what time she's really coming or what time she's leaving. So um I knew I had a feeling like if we did this in the morning. <laughs> If we did this in the morning, we'd probably run into some like, awkward moment where the doorbell's ringing. Um, so I figured I'd just, we'd hop on. Once we were done, we have dinner kind of prepped and um, you can just go and stick that in the oven, I guess. I can. And uh, at some point, and yeah. So we're just excited to be here and finish up some of these builds and, and you know, go from there. So what are you guys up to? You guys doing anything cool? Oh, I know. Brian, Brian talks <laughs> to his house, doesn't he, Darla? It's a, it's a thing for Brian. Um, so it looks like the computer live chat's going pretty good. I won't turn my phone on. It only um, has issues when I'm not here. Apparently so. Like, I don't understand that. Um, I'm really excited for tomorrow, though, because tomorrow we're going to go shopping. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Sarah's going to leave the house. We're going to leave the house. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to get stuff. <laughs> And we're gonna shocker. I'm, I'm I know. Gonna, I'm gonna schedule out. Hi, Kellyanne. Hi. Hi. I know you're all over the floor. We're all over the place today, aren't we? I was like, I was like, I don't know. I'm gonna schedule something because um, everyone's everywhere streaming. Um, but thank you for popping in over here. Um, we we're just talking about how excited I am to leave the house and go shopping tomorrow. Hey, Brick Studs, how's it going? What are you up to today? Um, yeah, so if you guys missed, didn't see it, make sure you check out the, the video we just posted, but I think most of you probably did. Um, super excited. We're actually, uh, I'm willing to walk through Ikea tomorrow only because we're already going to be down that way, and hopefully it says what I want is in low stock. So It won't be there by probably, the time we get there. <laughs> it probably won't be there, uh, but we definitely have a good amount of stuff to get started with, so I'm super excited. And of course I'm excited to go to the Lego store. And then we're gonna schedule a live stream sometime I think like mid afternoon, maybe. He just will do what I say, I guess. He took the day off from work. Um, so he's, we'll each build like something brand new from the store, I'm really excited about that. So yeah. And he's building Ecto-1 that goes along with the headquarters, not the big fancy display one. Uh, we know we're missing a couple pieces from this, I believe. Uh, we're, we won't really know officially. The, the headquarters turned out to be missing less pieces than we thought. Uh, of course, you can kind of find those little pieces afterwards. But they also swapped out a couple colors, which I think was the issue. Like the light blue gray plate. Turned into dark blue plates. They, so. so they he must have, I don't know if, if he was just disassembling a, a part that, you know, he was given or 
or not, or, or when he built it, he had, to, I don't know. So we did actually have all the pieces, just not in all the right colors as if you were following the directions. Oh, let's see, I can't read so far away here. Hey, Trevor Baker, how's it going? Uh, Kellyanne's excited for us both. Um, and oh boy, I'm gonna have to just look quickly. I can't see Hello that. everyone, I'm glad you're building that because uh, I'm on the fence of getting into- Getting the Ecto one because it's also not the original one. And it doesn't have the mini pigs. Gotcha, yeah. Um, it was part of a used set that we got. So we got the the um, the headquarters and it came with this and we got the package of it for um, $500. So it was a fabulous deal. And yes. um, we're looking forward to putting this into our city. So it's a good size for that. Um, that was says, right, Brian, it will be there by the time you guys get there. Absolutely. I'm hoping that it will be. Uh, I just really want some, like we could definitely fit two more tables going one way. And then uh, the Calyx shelves, I can get two small squares. Uh, maybe we should have tried to angle the table so they could see the city behind us. So now the city is way over here. We're not gonna do it now. Next week, we'll do it. Um, Cause that would be a mess. Maybe we should actually get some more table legs for this table. Right now we have them on, the Ikea has like sawhorse type legs, but they're really, it's really hard just to pick the table up and move it because the sawhorse legs don't attach. Um, so you gotta, someone's gotta lift the table, head, the table top off. The other person's gotta take the sawhorse legs. I guess one person can do it, but it's like, it's a project, especially if you have stuff on top, you can't just like swing it around. So I think we'll get two, four more legs. Four, four, okay. <laughs> Um, and then, so the table, the six tables that we have definitely don't, aren't going to include the forest area yet. And I'm not sure if it will make the um, ocean area. It won't make the ocean area for sure either. And it may not make the residential area. So I think we could even move tables out into behind us because we took out that big table that was right here and put it over there and over there, over there. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. <laughs> hey, Cosmo, how's it going? Uh, let's see, we got uh, Tommy Rich. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Tommy, so, you gonna pick up that party boat or what? Oh, let's see. Look, Tommy's got one. I think there's some more people, Tommy, that we could convince to build. I don't know. Like, uh, so in here, guys, guess what's in here? <laughs> whole, whole, whole box of fun. Whole Whole box of fun, just just waiting. We're waiting for Trevor, really. You know, I'm working on, we'll schedule a time when it's decent enough for everyone to uh, open up this, this beautiful box and reveal the contents, and then we can all build it together. Townhouse is looking good. Yeah, isn't that nice? I actually am really enjoying this one. Uh, it is not too challenging for me, which is Perfect. So um, I've got a little bit of the pet area started because now I'm noticing Cosmo that I have a lot of empty space on my table and um, we need to get it filled up. Get the matches, get the matches. It's, except it's gonna be like an environmental hazard to uh, set flames to that. So I've decided there's one set now, um, even though I bought one, two, three, four, five. I bought five sets this morning already. There's one set for the city now that I have to have. Now that I see the setup a little bit better, there's one that I have to have. Like Snowlena, I'll disassemble mine and rebuild it with you. Excellent, excellent. I can't believe she said she'd do that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be real, it's a real party. Like I have to, we'll have to think about, we'll have to maybe get a, a soundtrack going and uh, have like a, like some party music. Should we have the? I know we can't do any themes of movies and things. I was just thinking the the theme song to the love boat. I don't know for some reason <laughs> the love boat and the party boat. They they uh, they make me feel <laughs> so. Yeah, the party boat. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about buying the dolphin rescue boat too. Now, no, just kidding. Who else has the dolphin rescue boat? I don't know. It's probably not a thing. Uh, so what's everyone else up to? I know for Trevor and, and Kellyanne, gosh, isn't it like 
midnight or thereabouts. Ecto one coming together. <laughs> I feel like you guys are up so late. I don't. I can't even begin to stay up that late. All right. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's see. So I put in a little cat, and I'm going to put in a little dog. It's great. Do you like our new space, Brian? I love our new space. Yeah. It's coming like together it? quite nice. Yeah. I'll be even more excited when we actually have a functional room behind us. Oh, way back in there? Yes. Um, so you can kind of see, like, oh, that's where our couches went, is way down in there. I'm trying to point my finger the right way. Oh, nope. <laughs> um, but now we have space. Uh, we still have the same table that we're streaming at, but you're not as like. It's a lot roomier now that I'm not tucked in a corner. Yeah, I suppose it just feels that way probably. But there's still a lot of table space over here I'm not using up. I have clone troopers partying on my boat and battle droids on my Formoti, of course. Uh, Kellyanne says it's 2140, so that's what? 940. Oh. Well, Kellyanne, I must think you guys are like somewhere else. And so you are nine hours. Okay. Um, are you getting the 18 plus ecto? I think we'll eventually get it, especially with the new movie coming out. It'll be fun to build it and uh, get that along with it. Yeah. It's a nice display piece, but uh, this ecto one will definitely fit better in the city than the uh, bigger ecto one will. You know what? Get to my little Star Wars. We brought we brought out Liam's old bag of Star No, they're on like a little plate over there. So I've been putting together all our old Star Wars mini pigs. And so I thought, I don't really know a lot of them. I don't know if I put them together right, but I, I don't need those. Yes, I, But look, so just so you know, we've had these um, for quite some time now. And there's a, a whole handful more. So I don't know if that makes, you guys can make sense of any of that, but we actually have. Star Wars minifigs from probably uh, five plus years ago. A long time ago in a galaxy it. far, far away. I love my little Ewok. Um, so what we, we inherited some Lego from uh, a cousin and uh, the Ewok was in it, but we don't have actually, and I don't know, it's nothing, we have nothing Ewok-ish otherwise. Um, and we do have, and then one of my favorite little sets came with C-3PO is like a droid rescue. So it was, the set had like, um, what was that set? It had C-3PO and R2-D2, and it, it was like a little rescue pod. It like was that. the pod from episode four where they uh, eject themselves from mm -hmm. the Tantive Four and Maybe. down onto the planet of Tatooine. Uh, yes. So I remember having that set with Liam. He really liked that little set. So, And then we have the, the set where uh, Han Solo was frozen in carbonite. Yes, you had that's little... what, where is he? Oh, you didn't put him on this one. Oh, no, I still have pieces of people and wasn't sure which heads matched up, especially with the stormtroopers and things because we have different color ones. But I thought it was cool. I'm going to try to get them all together because we have we have a bag of random parts and we have probably have like uh, half a dozen micro fighters and things like that from way back when he was uh, – Probably like six or seven. I'm and guessing. some surprisingly are still put together. Yeah, yeah. The escape pod. Yeah, I was trying to think of the name escape pod. Absolutely. So with our that's our like little beginnings of Star Wars. So I guess we're I bought a lot of Star Wars this morning, as I mentioned to Trevor earlier today. Yeah. And I am waiting to hear back. I made an offer on a BB-8 on eBay. It was kind of a low offer. Um, so I'm, I haven't heard back yet. So I'm kind of waiting to see how that pans out. Because I want to have all the buildable characters for when R2-D2 arrives. And that will be fun for me, I think. Because we have Dio already, right? We do. And we do have the AT, AT that is like that size range. Like that hundred and sixty dollar one. Well, it's not a character. No, it's not a character. But I think of it as a character because it's a, um, it's a prominent thing. Prominent piece. <laughs> prominent piece from the movie that 
stands like the other characters do. <laughs> it's not like a ship, I guess, but I guess it's kind of like a ship in a way, right? Because it carries. Is that troops? troop transport? Yeah, I guess it's a kind of thing. It's like the Trojan horse of Star Wars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not quite. Yes. No, I wouldn't call it a Trojan horse, but. <laughs> That's what it makes me think of every time I look at it. BB-8 should be fairly cheap still. So the cheapest I could find him, Trevor, um, was a buy it now or best offer for 155, and I offered 130. Uh, you have 31 501 501 battle pass, Ooh. Tommy. Ah, uh, well, you you haven't. Haven't caught up to M and R, so I think you're okay, right? Didn't he have like? <laughs> didn't he buy like just scads of them? Oh, of, I have no idea. I think he did. Kind of crazy. Hi, Juliet. How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. Kind of another impromptu uh, live build here, just to have a little fun. She says, "Love the new city layout. Tons of precious space. There is. Uh, there is. I'm going to fill it up really fast. Oh, because the one set now that I have to have, because I kind of have a layout in my mind. The one. The one. Just the one. I only need one more set, and that'll be good, right? Um, so I, I have a layout in my mind. I actually, when I went up to shower this morning, um, my son decided that he was going to arrange the cities. Uh, so he's got them set up how he would like them. So I'm going to have to unarrange them and do what's in my head. But the one, one set that I need now is the carousel because I'm going to have a park in the middle of my city. And I feel like that park, I'm going to have a block and a block in a park and then uh, some of the bigger, taller ones in the back. And I really need that carousel. Really, it's a. I need it. It is a. It's a. It's a need. It is a need because I feel like the city cannot go on <laughs> without the carousel. Something can't go on. So I'm gonna look for that. Um, unfortunately, the carousel is like four hundred dollars, um, kind of averaging for a new one. So I've been kind of staring at some, but I haven't. I haven't pulled the trigger yet. But now that I see the space. Uh, now that I see the space in the city, I feel like I need to, I definitely need to do it. So we'll have to, we'll have to take a look and see. And I, I don't, like I said, I don't really want to use one. I feel like that's going to be very specific. I don't know if I'd be able to um, handle it not being correct. And the power functions, I'm not sure. If it comes with power functions or not, I know a lot of those older ones have retired, of course, too. And we'll have to have to see. But I think that will be fine. It won't be an amusement park, but I feel like a lot of parks have um, have that kind of uh, carousel in it. So I feel like it would be a really good, uh, colorful thing to add to the middle of the city. And then I do have some other boxes that have arrived uh, that I'm going to show off next week. So I'm excited for. I'm looking for a piece. I see Cosmo, you, you saw the Looney Tunes at Target. I was thinking about maybe taking a ride out, but then I was like, no, I don't want to leave the house. Nah. I'm going to be out all day tomorrow. It's going to be a big day for me. So I'm going to conserve my, my strength today. I don't think I built, I didn't do this right. What did I do? Oh, I'm not paying attention. That's what I'm not doing. All right. I have one built, not my favorite set. So if you can't get one, let me know. We could arrange something. Oh, wow. It's not your favorite set? Why not? Do I need to know something? This is sort of the tough part about building this on the mills plate like I did because I didn't build them separately. And so now trying to undo them when it's up next to the other house is really challenging. Well, I guess if I just use a brick separator, it's not. We built the bookshop on two separate mills plates, but we didn't build this one. 
Um, and I'm almost wondering if we should have. Wait, I wanted to save the, what am I doing? I am not doing this right whatsoever. See, I cannot talk and build. Like, I am not a good build and chatter. I'm a good chatter and watch him build. Uh, Dewey had said that sounds sick. Uh, I'm guessing that's uh, uh, is is, uh, is the response to that I came to talk. Is the response to the uh, carousel? Um, Cosmo says I hope you find the Looney Tunes soon. Uh, I'm sure. Like I can just buy the set off at eBay, um, but we'll see. I have to go to Target for my eye appointment on Tuesday, so obviously I'll gonna pick up some base plates if I see them for one thing. Um, I've been stacking up on those and since I'm going to be at the eye place inside Target, there's no reason not to walk by the Lego afterwards. It's nice if I don't have any other fairground set so it doesn't go with anything. Yeah, that makes sense um, for sure. But you might want it in the city. You never know in like a park area. Uh, Darla says they have the Looney Tunes at Walmart. Okay. I'll have to take a look there, too. I want to go there. I love those classic brick boxes that they're selling that are $39.99. They're not – I have one close. Um, they're not a set, but they're, like, the classic pieces. And the set is, like, 1,500 pieces, and it has the four 16 by 16 base plates. And it's been $39.99 for as long as I can remember. It even went down to 33 like, a month ago. And it's, you know, free shipping at that point. Um, so I've been picking them up every now and then just because I like the – it's nice to have all of those pieces. And that same set in the Lego store is $70. And on Amazon, it's also, like, $70. So I don't know if Walmart has, like, some sort of special – um, thing with it. I keep waiting for it to go away. It's been here since like before Christmas, like Black Friday-ish. I remember they had that other classic box that was on sale for 30 um, for Black Friday into even January. I think I wish I had gotten more of those, but it's, but they're really cool. Like it's a great way to get parts. I think that's the best part to piece ratio I've ever seen. So every now and then I go order one just because, and then, um, at some point, I'll have to sort them all out. Uh, hello, my bricks and me. No party boat? Not yet. Not yet. We're waiting for everyone to get them, and we're going to orchestrate a big, fun live stream for it. Uh, hey, Lego Mike. Hello, all. What about an L shape with the new tables? Absolutely, because I think that um, we're going to look into that when we get some more tables. The problem is, uh, so we, we almost have to do it. We might have to switch the, the configuration of these tables a little bit. I wish it were easier than, than just doing this because uh, there's six of them there. But the, the sizing is so weird on these new um, IKEA tables. It's really frustrating. I really like this one that we've been working on. It's 39, no, 29 by 59. And that's perfect for... Um, creating a lot of different things because it allows you three base plates, which means you get um, road and maybe two sets of modulars, uh, on, uh, you know, like a set on each side of the road. But this other one at 23 is different. So, and then if you do 23 plus 23 is 46. And so that still doesn't quite work because then that gives you a lot of overhang on one. So you get four. So then you need to go to that third to make it 69 and then you get like a good width of um, road plates or, or base plates. So now I'm getting a little confused sizing wise. I bought four of those because it has a lot of different pieces but it won't last long. So Sarah, if you see it, get it. Yeah, I'm surprised though, Darla, that we've seen it since November. I don't understand how, but I definitely, I have, um, we bought one of those for Maine along with one of the other ones that Walmart had at the time, and that's up there. And we got one of those colorful, um, from Walmart too, one of those colorful drawer things. And we sorted it all out. So then when we're up in Maine, we have Lego. Because a lot of times we'll bring Lego sets up there. But um, we've been noticing that we kind of have to go in and fish out a piece every now and then to add to, like Sesame Street was missing something. And luckily that box just had a lot of colorful pieces in it. 
Uh, so we were able to do that. So I definitely was like, let's keep uh, let's keep a whole like kind of bricks and pieces sorting bin up here, just so we have like you know stuff to play around with, you know. And that works out really well. And then I bought two more for here, along with two of those. Oh, that makes four. Two of those other boxes that were on sale. So I want to pick up at least one more. Um, I notice a lot of uh, Brooklyn sellers are carding those out because they're so cheap. Because I see those um, those sixteen by sixteen blaze plates aren't common, um, and those colors are very particular. They don't have like a regular green color. It's like a brighter green color. That I was. Um, thinking about using that for some mills, but they're just too expensive for that. It really brings the price up quite a bit. Uh, random kid, Walmart sometimes has some really great Lego deals. I want a Walmart, uh, went to a Walmart out of my area and found a retired city set $20 off retail. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, everyone goes to these stores and sees great things and we go to ours and we're kind of like, hmm. Uh, Clearly, they don't all follow the same game plan. Uh, at least I, that one set I know I can get. But even when we've gone to like um, Target and Kohl's, we never find what other people are saying they find. So I've kind of stopped like running around when I hear things because it, it's ended up just being like such a waste. All right, that's even mine. <clears throat> but I definitely want to go check it out this week, I think, and, and see what what they might have you know if they have anything for star wars since we got all of may i'm getting pumped up for tomorrow to kind of get in the get in the groove of getting to the lego store found an hq brand new what for 550 um, oh you just made sarah very 550 angry 50 pounds which oh pounds yeah so that's yeah going to be around 700 700 that's still good like if i found one new for like 700 ish trevor i would have bought it jump on it yeah, are you gonna do it? Do you think? Um, I'll trade you. I'll send you this <laughs> used one for the new one in the box. <laughs> He's like, no. He's <laughs> like, no. You're you were the you were the one that bought that one. You can keep it. No, I'm really happy with it though. Like, other than the experience of getting it, I'm putting on the wrong piece. Even as I talk, uh, I'm glad that. You know, it looks it looks great, all done. Uh, some the two key pieces that were missing, um, that the guy said were missing, um, were part of a um, sign of the the street lamp thing, not street lamp, um, street light, street light, which is fine. I don't even need that on there because I imagine we're going to do our own street lights anyway. So um, that is obviously specific to that set, not intending to go into a city. So that really the pieces missing were from that. And so that's fine. I can just take that right off. So I feel like um, bonus there. And I'm, the car is coming along pretty good. I think we're missing a hose from the car, you said, right? Yes. So um, I'm gonna, we're going to have to look at the part piece for that. And um, order it. I don't know how crucial it is to the building process. I'm guessing it probably isn't. Uh, let's see, I should put the piece on right to start, right? That always helps. So I'm pretty pretty pumped up about the next uh, couple weeks here. Aren't you, Daddy? Oh, very pumped. Very pumped. Gonna be exciting. Lots of Star Wars stuff to build. Yeah. I wish you could take the whole month of May off. <laughs> and then we could, we could have it like, be a real Star Wars. Not. Should we get costumes and dress up? I don't know. I'll get you a costume. I already got it picked out. I'm going to get you a Chewbacca suit. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. What are you getting at the Lego store, store tomorrow besides Looney Tunes? Uh, we're definitely getting um, the Adam West Batman car thing in the jigger. Yep. And the the helmets. The car thing in the jigger. I'm still stuck on that. The car Sorry. thing in the jigger. Um the Batmobile, the old Batmobile, the nineteen sixties Batman Batmobile. Um and the, the probe, probe droid. droid. And you we're gonna get the helmets. I think we just would make Trevor happy and get the helmets while we're there. Don't worry Trevor, we're getting them for me, not you really. <laughs> um and then we'll we'll build them up afterwards after we go to IKEA store and check out IKEA and all the fun things IKEA has. 
I don't think we'll walk through Ikea though. I think we can just go right to the um, the bins place and, and locate the stuff. I don't think I have the, the mental power to walk through all of Ikea. I don't think there's anything I really need. I'd like to get some more storage. Like I like sorting bins. Like we use a lot of our uh, deli containers because my son loves deli ham. And I try to I try to make sure it's organic or all natural and, and free of things. So don't worry. Um, but he eats a lot of it. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. We like the tins. <laughs> uh, mostly I try to feed him not processed food, but he does like deli ham. So we'll go with that. We all have to make considerations in our parenting. <laughs> uh, hey, Linda. How's it going? Um, I'm with you, Sarah. Walmarts and Targets in this area of Southern California don't have very good Lego deals most of the time. I'm better off going to the Lego store. Yeah, yeah, just perusing. Um, I find that I find that I get I can find some Walmart online deals better than I can in the store. Uh, thingamajiggers are perfect. I like random thingamajiggers. <laughs> my picks and me. Uh, Linda says she's getting the 1966 Batmobile as well as the Venom helmet tomorrow. No thingamajiggers. Uh, I don't think we're going to get the, I, I do not like the Venom Carnage helmet thingies, busts, right? They're not really helmets, they're, they're heads. Busts, yep. And so I don't, I don't think we're going to get those, right? No, of course not, dear. I mean, do you like Batman's cowl thing, buster, thingamajigger? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> You like that? Yeah, Would you get no. that? Uh, we got enough to worry about right now. I, the, looking at the backlog, all collected in one central location is definitely daunting at the moment. Yeah, we See. gathered all the boxes from all around the house where we were kind of tucking them away and we slid them all under the table. So I'll, I'd probably do like a backlog video uh, and show you just <laughs> what, we, what we've put away. Yeah, I think this coming, you know, week alone, we're going to probably add, I feel like at least a dozen or more sets. Um, you know, we have some already on the way from last week. I have some I haven't opened under there. Uh, and then I have three more special surprise uh, Star Wars ones I got over there. Uh, and I sorted five sets this morning. So it's kind of crazy. There's a lot of stuff coming. Trevor Baker says, I would to what? Open, build, repeat. Hey there, how is it going? How's it going? What's your Legos, Lego stuff going on? Open, build, repeat. What are you doing over there? Um, I don't know, Trevor, if I can get those, those creepy helmets, though, with the big teeth. I could dress up like Wonder Woman. We could build the Wonder Woman things. I do have the Wonder Woman. I really like those. You have to get you another costume. <laughs> it's family friendly, my dear. Family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to struggle, Sarah, when you run out of retired sets. They're never going to be a retired set. I guarantee you. I don't think I could. But the carousel. Must find the carousel. All right. I don't know what I'm building here. I don't know if I finished this page or not. No. Yes? No, I don't need that. I like my new system of dumping all those little tiny bags from inside the big bags into a little container. And then this time around, I just put all of this color blue in here and that leaves me with a lot um, less stuff to hunt for over here. So that's making me um, a little bit more organized feeling. My favorite part was tiling. So we're, we're here, just in case anyone hasn't seen it. I'm on the... I don't, I'm going to tip it forward. I'm on the ta the pet shop card, tiling up the, the floor, adding some animals. Uh, we have the townhouse finished. Brian fixed the roof for me because I put it on funky. Uh, but I thought this was a fabulous build that I was capable of building without uh, a lot of strained effort. <laughs> so feeling very positive about this one today. This must be the, uh, um, I don't know what year this one is, but it must be the year, the year in which I'm still capable of building Lego sets. 
You're like zipping right along there, and I've done like five pieces here. Well, you've got to do the entertaining I so I can get the building done. Just now if I put that, I'm going to put it this way so I can, I can line it up. I think I already did this page. Yes, did this. Uh, looks great. I moved that one over to Mill Day. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, you have to tiling is a is a little bit challenging. The floor tiling is always a little challenging to move over. Uh, the original or the newer one? Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I've seen the original versus the newer one. All I know is the one that I want is four hundred dollars. So let's see. Um, Got to look in my. I haven't even looked at, oh, look at all the offers. See, they're offering me stuff. I love it when I put things, like if you're on the fence about a set and you just want to watch, make sure you watch it. If it's close to the price, make sure you watch it because I get offers all day long and that's how I get some of my best prices. So um, if I like search something and I do um, lowest price, I'll take like the first two or three because you never know when someone's going to give you a, a good price. So let me see if I can see the carousel here. Um, uh, the carousel is 10257. That's the one I have my eye on. Um, so it, it looks like that one there. And uh, hoping, hoping to put that one in. I don't know what the other one is, I guess. I haven't investigated that far. I figured that one was expensive enough. So if there's an older one that's more expensive, I definitely don't want to know about that. Um, oh boy. It does take what? He gave us the wrong wheels. <gasps> the wrong wheels? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, we got the wrong wheels. That little cylinder there should be gone. Because when we put this through now, you oh can't connect it. Right. So we'll have to fix the wheels on this. But. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, con contact this person because that's a big deal. Like, so what are the wheels? See how there's no piece like this in yeah. there. Yeah, it's similar. So can you pop out? Are they all like that? Yeah, this is one one solid piece okay well now the the thing is we have a bag of wheels somewhere so we'll I, make it work well i'm still going to contact him because like it's one thing to be missing parts but nobody likes an angry sarah no <laughs> i may look all innocent but you crossed my path wrong <laughs> watch out <laughs> i have no problem being honest with anyone um She's fun at family picnics. <laughs> Say it like it is. <laughs> and you, you find out who you're going to mesh with in life when you, when you be like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've just got a brick link for the order one here. Let's take a look. Oh, the grand carousel. Yes. Oh, no. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not for, I mean, the cheapest one is $700. Um, used. <laughs> so, no. We're going to go with the other one? No, it'll be good enough. Yeah, this also doesn't look as, like, you know, it's beautiful. But I definitely feel like, um, I think the other one would just be funner. Funner, funner. Oh. Oh, let's see. Hey, Lego Joe, how's it going? Um, bins and bricks after dark. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know where that was coming from. Uh, let's see. Um, Venom is a must, says Trevor Baker. It's going to give you nightmares, though, isn't it? Hmm. Why is Venom a must? Uh, open Build Repeats has been MIA for a little New job is coming busy, we'll, but we'll get back on the grind soon. Sounds good. You have a you have a really cute looking family. Open build repeat for sure. You guys look like you have a lot of fun together. So I like to see your adventures. Um, uh, bins and bricks after dark. 
Uh, my, May 1st, my roommate and I are getting the R2-D2 Death Vader helmet and Imperial Probe Droid. Creepy bust with big teeth are awesome. <laughs> would love to have the carousel. Oh, my goodness. And the tongue, that creepy tongue that just kind of pops out. Uh, the carousel is massive. Check out the one in the Winter Village. Uh, yes, I've seen that one. That's on that's on my list for the Winter Village. Um, but you're right. Maybe that um, that might be a better option. Yeah, so um, if, if you guys, Kellyanne um, or Trevor, like, is – uh, that's a good thought. Is the carousel, does it look weird too close to modules? Like, is it too unrealistic? That's, I guess that's a good thing to keep in mind. Cause I have been looking at the, the winter carousel. So that might be a nice one to put in a park area for sure. You haven't met angry Kellyanne, Brian. Oh, <laughs> sounds like we need to swap some stories. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ecto One is going to the repair shop. It's uh, it's like a, um, it's like an old. Uh, We're gonna put it on cinder blocks. In the city. <laughs> we just find some great bricks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, my bricks to me. You do have that one. Uh, look out for angry Sarah. That would be. <laughs> but yeah, four wheels. Um, I guess even one wheel and the other four, three being right would be wrong. But like clearly, I. I like oh nope, maybe we do have all we need well we're not hose. so we're not supposed to have the hose <laughs> just so you know i knew we weren't supposed to have that hose um so uh but the guy should know like even if he can't do anything about it i mean he could give me like credit for sure he could um send me the right wheels uh but he should know that you know he's putting in the effort to mention what's missing and then still giving us incorrect pieces and that's not good that's um it's a tough one because i do i did specifically go to bricklink because i felt like i would have a more a better chance of having a more honest used set sent to me um but i don't know at this point i'm anything big um anything big is going to be new and maybe i'll just look at some more at smaller use sets instead where um you're not like the the houses, the three in one houses. I think I could probably go a little bit more used on maybe and to save some money there. I feel like they're uh, they're a good investment, but not the same type of investment as like the, the Ghostbusters is. So creepy tongues are great too, says Linda. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, how it's going to be fairly close. My my pins and bricks. I mean, it's. I don't know how close, but I feel like when it's separated in an amusement park, it would look completely different up against like the roller coaster and all that. But think of it as like you have a building and then maybe you have a base plate and then you have the carousel and then another base plate and then another building. So that kind of close. Uh, so that might be, that was a good thing. Trevor, you always point out uh, good thoughts there. I will send you a picture on Discord of the two carousels for size reference. Awesome. Yeah, because that little one might do it, because I did want that little one for my Christmas village, because I've been slacking at collecting Christmas village sets, too. She's been slacking I've at been buying slacking every at retired Lego set she can find. I know, I know. It's very bad, very bad. Um, I don't even want to, I don't even think I want to know what I spent this month already. Um, and I, I am fortunate because uh, this is part of my um, S Corp business. So, you know, it's kind of like buying office supplies, I guess. But in the end, it's still, regardless of how you use that, oh, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a business expense. It is still, still an expense. It's still an expense. And, um, Oftentimes, the trade-off between spending $400 of a business expense does not equate to $400 less that you pay in taxes. Uh, I've learned that over the years. I've been a, um, a business owner for two decades. Um, so we have definitely learned a lot about taxes. And, um, Man, you're old. I am old. Oh, my goodness. Um, definitely learned a lot about taxes. 
<laughs> um, but we always are very honest with our taxes. So, uh, Hey, Gary from Ireland. Nice to see you again. Thanks for coming by. I tried that with my accountant. Yeah, that, that might be a hard one. Might be a hard one. You should, if you like start a YouTube channel and all, I mean, uh, you could. So, um, yeah, you could, it could be a business. I mean, you do need to, um, the thing with business is you do need to, if you're going to claim something as an expense um, like that, you do at some point need to show profit. <laughs> so at some point they, they expect that. Uh, the government's going to get their cuts. Yes. Yeah, so uh, they, they will know if you're kind of doing it as a hobby and um, enjoying the benefit of claiming things as expenses versus actually doing it as a business. So, um, but you do get a little bit of a, a buffer period to obviously grow the business because no small business just starts uh, in the black, right? Like it does not, uh, it's not always the norm. So I had my first year as a personal trainer. I'm pretty sure I didn't get out of the red. I mean, some weeks were a big fat zero as I was trying to build up my client list and all of that. And I was still spending money though. You know, you couldn't not buy things. You know, you need things to, to do it with um, and advertising and such like that. But, you know, you just kind of keep working at it. Like, like building a Lego set here and following the directions because clearly I've, I've already skipped you know, I just decided I didn't need to even do that step, and I skipped over to here, so now it's gotten a little confusing. <laughs> so we're going to back it up. You're not old, Sarah. <laughs> Linda. I try, I try, but I, I am at least two decades of a business owner old. <laughs> so you can add, can add some more years onto that to uh, come up with the approximate age there. Some days I feel older than others. It's not the years; it's the mileage. It's the mileage. Oh, is that one of your little, your little uh, Star Warsy things? Not Star Wars. No. No. That's sure Indiana is. Jones. Indiana Jones. But same actor. Same actor. So that's why <laughs> I do like those movies too. Trevor, do you have, or does anyone have any of the Indiana Jones sets? Because I think, I feel like I could possibly do that. Um. I remember because I remember going to uh, Disney World and it was actually Liam's birthday. Okay, he's a little sorry. Story time. Yo, story, story time. time. Um, so we were, it was his birthday uh, two years ago, one year ago. Um, we went for his 10th birthday. He's 11, going towards 12. So you do the math there. And so they have the, star, the Indiana Jones show where they have like a stunt show and that's great. And, and he loves to sit down in the first row. And we tried to get as close as we could. And he actually sat behind what must have been the birthday boy seat who actually like their parents like paid for this experience for him to like, uh, I don't know, maybe he met some people afterwards or whatever. I'm not sure. We, we didn't pay for that experience. I didn't know it was available. Uh, so we were just sitting there. And, and, and so the little boy is, is supposed to like announce the show and uh, it, you know, the woman talks and whatever, and she comes over and she's like, are you ready to announce the show to the little boy? And the little boy looks like he is going to freak out. Like, I mean, it's a big place. It's a big place. It's uh, there's a big stage, uh, huge. And so she's like, oh, you sure it'll be fun. All you really are doing is going to say three, two, one, something, something. Um, he's like, no, 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 no. So she looks at Liam, who's also wearing his birthday pin. She's like, is it your birthday? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, do you want to announce it? And he's like, yeah, because <laughs> that's my kid. So he gets up there and he does like, like he does the baddest rock star countdown ever. I videotaped it. We both videotaped it. Um, and it's just fantastic. And like he had the, you know, he was like doing the thing where he bends his back backwards and he's like screaming. He's hamming it up. Oh, it's perfect. Like, you know, I, I, he doesn't want to do acting lessons or anything like that. But really, he's very like theatrical. And, uh, you know, the crowd loves Especially it. when it's dinner time and we tell him he's got to wait. <laughs> dinner time, time to do his reading, uh, time to take a shower, <laughs> time to clean up his room. Uh, <laughs> so any of those times. But it's just magical. It's just magical to see him up there on that stage and, like, really, like, 
living it up. So, so anyway, back to Lego, um, Indiana Jones. Like, I feel like I think I could do some Indiana Jones sets for sure. We have some bits and pieces from our nephews. We do, yeah, we do. Um, I, there's a uh, Indiana Jones uh, guy in our little minifigure band. He's got the little like whippy thing, whippy thing on my jigger. The whip. The whip. <laughs> and we have the hat. So I don't know what set that might have come from. Uh, probably all of them. So we probably have a, a whole bunch of random pieces of the set, but I definitely want to get some, especially the plane that. Um, sets on fire because that's still what they did at uh, in Disney World. So I feel like I could collect those for sure. So we're, so just remember, Trevor, when I run out of what you think I might run out of, I can always go back to uh, those. And then you know what the sets I also I that I like um, from the haunted house. Remember the um, the stories about the the drop the haunted house drop ride set with Bar Baron von Baron. Yes. So those were lots of references to old adventurer sets, right? Uh, the yes, I think so. And the different different things. So I bet you I could do those and have fun too. So there's some there's some stories for you there. <laughs> um, it's in the, it's another rabbit hole. I believe there will be new sets for the upcoming film. There's an upcoming film. Uh, I would not be surprised. Oh, when's the upcoming film, Trevor? I've not heard anything about that. Um, uh, hey, F1 Beat 3000, you're from Germany. <laughs> yeah, make sure you get that Y on there. Awesome. Thanks for coming to the chat. Uh, tell us a bit about your Lego journeys. And we're, I or what are you building? What's what everybody building? building? Yeah. You know what we're building? And you know I'm not doing any building. Um, we're supposed to be building a little, a little thing with money in it. Look for real money. I really need that Lego 100 there. Where's my little? So I definitely, definitely could do Indiana Jones. And that'll be fun for the new movie. Like I feel, we, we like all of those, um, those. Which is your favorite Indiana Jones movie? Oh, the first one easily. Yeah. Yes. Which one was that? That was the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. Which one does, does Liam have a preference? I don't know. It's tough to tell with Liam. Yeah. When we watch our old movies with him. Yeah. Sometimes he does better with like the the newer ones because they're a little bit more actiony. I think he um, a lot of times would be like, "I gotta get up and go outside if there's like too much conversation." He's gotta like run around. I think to process it a little bit. What you looking for? No, oh, little bits. Little bits. Little bins and bricks and bits. <laughs> There's a little tray. With a little tray? Yeah, the one with the oh. clips. Where is it? Is it? Oh, it's right down here, right oh, by your feet. Right in front of me. Right in front of you. I should have known. Uh, they've announced it's still in pre-production. Oh, it's going to be a while. I bet. You're build, uh, Darla's building the Lego Technic Fast and Furious. And Cosmo Candy said she should be building the flower bouquet. Absolutely. So yeah, I saw that post. We'll have to see if that's in the store tomorrow. I mean, I know we don't go to the exact same store, uh, but maybe because your store got them, our store will get them. That would be cool. Oh, I hear footsteps. I wonder if he thinks it's dinner time. Here he comes. We are live streaming, bud. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Just heading outside. Okay. Hey, stream. <laughs> so he's gonna. All right. Where? Oh, okay. I see what I'm doing here. Got to put some. I got to say though that I'm a little bit torn about the idea of a pet shop, and I, I know it's just a Lego set, but I kind of wish it was like, and I could call mine a, a pet rescue, I guess, because we know that pet shops aren't really like 
the best things in the world and the, those kinds of stores. So I don't know. No, here, but I'm doing something not right. I clearly didn't do all of the step back here on this page, so that would help. Everyone's saying hi to Liam. He's gone. Uh, I'm currently building the Taj Mahal, says F1 nice. 2000. That is a huge set, isn't it? Awesome. I would say we definitely don't have room to have build and display that one yet. Even with all the room we just gave ourselves, we didn't give ourselves that much for sure. I'm missing pieces. Uh oh. Hmm. No, no, I'm not. I need to, I am not missing pieces. I need to build it correctly. Hey, Frankie Wright, how's it going? I like your little Grogu, little Grogu guy. Uh, icon. I just bought Grogu this morning, even though I think he's a little creepy. Um, I still bought him. <laughs> cool. It's is it done? It's as done as we're gonna get it. So this will go inside the Firehouse HQ uh, on some uh, two by two or two by three uh, cinder block bricks until <laughs> we get the right wheels. For there it. we go. It's very like, I mean, when they first bought the car and brought it back, I mean, it needed a, a whole lot of work. So I feel like that's sort of reminiscent of that, right? Yep. <laughs> um, Trevor says, I'm thinking the 66 Batmobile is in scale with the Ecto-1. You think so? That'd be cool. With this this Ecto-1, you mean? Yes. Yeah. That'd be cool to put in the city. Like, I don't mind having touches of, of fun things in the city like that for sure. Uh, where's Roxy? I think Roxy. Roxy. Come here. Hop up. Come here. There, yeah, over here. Oh, yeah. Come on. Here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Day? Oh, Everyone gets their, their daily dose of Roxy. You smile. You smile for the camera. Now nah, they're doggy breath. That's the Roxy's. We took her out in the rain this morning because uh, she gets antsy in the pantsy. And she doesn't get her she, walk so, when she's supposed to get her walk. You know, that's why stores like L.L. Bean make rain jackets, like for going out in the rain, not just for looking at. So we put on the rain jackets and we threw the ball and we took a, I think we, but we only did a mile and a half. I looked at the, she ran plenty because we threw the ball a bunch. There were a couple other people there where their dogs where we go. And so we played with them and she played around. And so she, oh, look at all the hair coming off her. Um, when we moved the couches and stuff to put them in that room back down there, oh, the hair underneath. And then we take the couch cushions off, the hair inside it and the Cheerios for those of you who have like kids, you know, and there's like crumbled up chips and stuff like that because we do eat on the couch. Boy, oh boy, that was gross. And the hair you can't even sweep up, it's like, uh, you know, just flying around. Yeah, Roxy's a good girl. She is, she is. She wants to sit here with us. Liam uh, sometimes lets her out with him, but for guests, uh, she, uh, he goes out kind of walking in the woods where we live, and she can go with him too, but uh, she doesn't always like to leave the yard. All right. You want to, what are you going to build? Do you want to finish building this, Daddy? Do you want me to finish building that? You can build with this, and I'll just kind of chat along. Here. Um, I did. I think I finished this step here. Okay. So I think I'm pretty good with that. Um, I don't have anything super exciting near me. Oh, well, actually, let's see. Let's open this up. I'm gonna open up this. I get little things in the mail all the time, so we'll open this up. Um, Roxy is such a cutie and adorable for a kitty. Yes, if I was close to you guys, I would offer to babysit her. <laughs> uh, we, we take her. Oh, we have a dog sitter. We we don't go. We don't go away any. We don't go away much, and I work from home. Um, I'm gonna need to oh, yeah. all the pieces. You're gonna need all the pieces, yeah. And. Uh, 
But we, when we go to Universal, we have someone that comes and stays at our house. Uh, so we, it's only been once. I mean, we don't, we don't really like go on a trip where we can't take Roxy very often because usually we're just going to our house in Maine and she can easily come with us. And the cat, cat gets along fine. So I'm going to build this while we're saying this. This is 400, 40078. It's like it's a different kind of hot dog stand with a girl on a bike. So that'll be fun for the city. I have that other hot dog stand. So this one, this one looks fun too. So it'll be a nice compliment. Maybe we'll put it in the park area. Mail yeah, time, yeah. <laughs> not not too exciting, but it's uh it is a a little thing at least to open up and build and there's very few instructions. So I should be able to like follow this very easily and feel very accomplished when I'm done. Say that. I like these little sets. They're good for me. <laughs> and he can he can futz around with that one. But we're almost done with that one. Then I think I'll do the brick bank next. <laughs> I like the modules on the back of the instructions. Oh, look at that. You're right. So in the back, there's you know, the town hall and the palace cinema. So clearly, I don't know what the age, let's see. There's no age on, oh, 2013. So this is, oh, it's like I, I got a retired. This must've been a promo. I wonder if it was a promo for the, like the cinema. That's crazy, that is old. So I paid, I think like $15 for this. So I imagine it was probably free <laughs> uh, to whomever whoever got it. But um, you know, it's in, in terms of buying something, it's not a huge expense. It'll add a fun little character to the city. So I like that. Am I doing, how am I doing? Did I do okay over there so far? Uh, you told me you were where you were, like, but it's of course a couple of pages oh. like, behind. What do you mean? So I have I've gone now like two pages ahead, and you've still done most of it. Oh. Except for this part. Oh, because so I, I did do this were. part, but then I had to go back because oh, I okay. didn't realize I I did that part. So did you finish? No, you didn't finish this part over here though. See, this should have these on there, or is that in this step? Okay. Okay. No. So that's yeah. So you're here. <laughs> so this is how it's how I do Lego sets. <laughs> it's very confusing, probably, to hand it off to someone. All right. Maybe you can demonstrate new road plates with curves and trains. Ooh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do curves uh, F1 Beat 3000. I did see that Bevins Bricks um, posted a video on some curves today. Uh, I would definitely have to play around with that for sure. And uh, trains, I'm, we, we uh, feel like I'm already out of space in terms of trains, but I do want to do the mills on, um, do trains on mills? Are you gonna? Are you? Do you have a city um, F1 beat three thousand? Or and are you gonna do mills plates with it? Is that where you're going? Hey, Overload Studios, you're building Yoda right now. We just bought Yoda too, um, Matt. We bought Yoda and we bought Grogu, and we bought uh, the Porg, and you got an offering on BB8. Offering on BB8. You got you mentioned Grogu. Yeah. So Grogu, Yoda, BB eight and four were the four that Yep. Yeah. And then on the first uh there overload studios, uh there's a new R two D two coming out. Yeah, so we're gonna head out and get R two D two. See what see what he's like to build. This is cute. The Ectolorian one. Oh, because there's going to be a, there's, they're talking about a DeLorean, right? 
Yeah, I hear rumors of a new DeLorean coming out too. Yes, that'll be a lot of fun. So you think they'll do like a real Back to the Future set? Or just the car? I don't know. Well, because there was a car already for the. Yep, and then there's a rebrickable. A couple of rebrickable sets too. I am all over the place. No, I'm not. Um, okay. I have to go and order, like, these directions are a little weird. I want to I wanna read left to right, but you read them down. So I'm kind of all over the place there. I got a bike in my set, too. What, what year is this? You, this is, it's the year of I'm still building. I know, but you could look in the pamphlet. I will, dear. Okay. Fine. Fine. Uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, do you, I like that movie a lot. Um, I want to get the, the ideas, DeLorean. Um, come on, little tiring thing. What's the... Pop that in there, please. Thank you. You're welcome. You have one. There's another. There's another bite too for the. Um, oh, my, my phone's like about to die. Came out in 2011. Pet Shop was 2011. The bikes look the same. The wheels. Little wheels for the 2013 promo match the wheels to the uh, bike shop wheels. So I was wondering if it was similar or different in year. There we go. Very cute. How is your city going today, my bricks and me? You getting a lot done? Or are you resting up? How's puppy dog feeling today? Yeah, I hope better. Here we go. This is cute. Very cute. I like this. We'll have that done in no time. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. You know, they don't give piece flippers these small sets, but I still need them. dogs Lego hot dogs nothing like a Lego hot dog uh, Julian says hi hi Julian how's it going bud how's it going with you um, moved my pet shop over the mills and now I have my foot up and she's doing better. She snuck downstairs yesterday, so she's a little sore today. As she probably shouldn't have been on the stairs yet. Oh, well, it sounds like at least if she's willing to be moving around, that that's a good sign, right? You're going to love the Batman 89 build, Brian. It's a challenging set, but a lovely display piece. does need a lot of dusting, though. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, is that that? The one we have over there? Yes. Yeah. I won't be building that for sure, Trevor. Won't be dusting either. I'll give him a set of makeup brushes so he can he can uh, have fun dusting that. <laughs> She's doing a little better every day. It's it's really funny now because we are both limping. We are we are twinning. <laughs> 
I know it was a dangerous sport. I think uh, Brian had like a got like a paper cut today. <laughs> My hot dog is on wrong. It's not allowing the mustard bottle to sit correctly. I think one of my son's favorite foods are hot dogs too. Like we had that talk about processed foods earlier. Um, <laughs> we just stick hot dogs on the list. We do try for organic ones though. But the so it's nice junk. <laughs> the pieces are all coming from somewhere. <laughs> oh, come on. Ask Brick and Brood. Yeah, I know. I saw he got he got makeup brushes. I know. I need to. I have a set in my Amazon cart. I just need to buy because um, I don't actually own any makeup, so therefore I do not need um, any makeup brushes. So to me, that's all foreign uh, in terms of purchasing stuff like that. But it would make sense that I would have them for Lego. <laughs> Um, how, how do you find the new HP sets? Um, how do we find them or how do you find them? Um, not quite sure what you mean by your question. Uh, how do we, what do we think of them or where are we going to get them? Oh, I know Target's doing a lot of pre-order for some of them, aren't they? Um, Kellyanne said, look at your Discord. Oh boy. No, is this going to be the carousel? Oh. So we got the carousel here. Hmm. Yeah, definitely a different scale. So you got the, so there's the two next to each other. Yeah. And then you got the big one here. It's a hard call, you know, I like, at least the, the winter village one doesn't look terribly Christmassy, right? Like you can take all the wintry stuff off of it. And does that, does it spin too? I don't know, but I do love that. I do love the look of that. Um, the one with the animals on it. I think that's really cool too. So I don't know. I could just have them both. I think if I just buy them both, then we'll be able to see, right? <laughs> Is that the solution? Not sure, if it's, not sure but <laughs> let's see. Oh, and then, so here's a picture of them. Oh, like a, uh, oh yeah, that's like the size of the cinema. Yeah, so here's like, so my my books and me sent me a picture of the uh, carousel close to a modular, and so that does look really big. Because I don't, I don't, I don't know. Is that a pro? That is fairly appropriate, though. I'm trying to think of ones that we've been to. Well, um, Pittsfield. So. I mean, it, it's been we've been inside big, big buildings with them. You know, like granted it. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. But it, again, the city's not real, and I guess you can take on um, some things into factor there. So I don't know now. So I've, I've built it. Yeah, I built a little uh, hot dog stand for the city. Pretty stuck there. So we have a cute little hot dog stand, a little hot dog. And then you've got these. Let me stand them up here. These cute little guys here. I got a, a, a male chef and a female um, hot dog buyer. And she's riding a blue bicycle. So there we go. I can stick them in. Oh, I better not take away this piece. They did that a couple of times. I was looking for a plate last night to finish off the, the pet shop, and I had put a whole bunch of mini figs on it to display. <laughs> and I, I'm looking at the plates, trying to like, I'm counting them over and over again. I'm putting the pieces on them, and I, I keep coming up short every time. But I'm like, these are the only plates they gave me. And so I call him over. He's like, you mean that plate there? And it's the one, you know, with all the mini figs on it. So. Like yeah. she did to me when I was building the HQ and kept stealing all the parts that I had oh, sorted and separated. To make into uh, little, little mini fig holders. Yeah. I'm good like that. So we got, we got that built up. 
If and Trevor says if Kelly Ann has them both, I think you should. Of course. Of course. Uh, what do we oh F1 Beat says, do what do we think of the new Harry Potter sets? Um I think there's uh, some of them look really brilliant. Um I think that the buildable minifigures. I, I really like that concept. Um I don't know how many of them we're actually gonna buy. But I do like the concept that maybe they'll do more of those buildable minifigures if they're popular. I think they, I was afraid they were going to look a little creepy, but I, it doesn't look like they're going to look creepy. They look very nice. Of course, we still have not yet seen it in person. Yeah, so I don't know if, you know, the pictures will change at all, the sets will change. Um, I think Hogsmeade is a great winter village kind of set. Um, and then the chess set. That's pretty cool. There's not, I mean, there was that one Lego chess set, but I think the chess set will be uh, really popular. And then Fox is pretty cool um, with the crank, the uh, automaton, right? That's what yep. they call that. So uh, I think they're pretty, they're going to be pretty awesome. I'm not sure about the gold minifigures. What do you think of the gold minifigures? Um, I know they're, they're probably trying to encourage sort of the collectability of the gold minifigures, but um, just like they did with the Ninjago gold minifigures, but I don't, um, I felt like that lended more to that story with the gold minifigures um, than it does to Harry Potter because there's never a point where there's a real thing about gold except for what Harry's left by his parents, right, in, in, the, in the vault. But other than that, I don't see the connection. Or if it's just the collectability, I think, is more. Yeah, but yeah, so, um, so then it really, yeah, I know they're probably encouraging you to want to buy them all by having adding the gold minifigs in. Did they ever do that with Star Wars? Uh, I don't think I've seen any gold minifigures for Star Wars, but I mean, there's that special one, right? There's a there's a gold C three PO out there or something. Uh, we're not, unfortunately, we haven't been into it forever in a day to remember all the particulars of it. But you know, I could see. Uh, I feel like I could see a gold Star Wars collection over a. Uh, Harry Potter one. It was the, the chrome, chromium Darth Vader. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really up on the Star Wars. We gotta get up on our Star Wars. We're gonna. We're gonna get up on that all, all May. We'll have to do some reading and and research about it for sure. Sarah's all in for May the fourth. All in for May the fourth. I don't know what we'll do on May the fourth. I don't even know what day May the fourth is. If May first is Saturday, then May fourth is. It's a Monday, right? Second. Second. No, Tuesday. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know how exciting that is. But, you know, I've been anticipating with my little, little display of characters. So. How's that going for you? It's going. Moving right along. It's not a hard build it all. I feel like I've built some that are more complicated than that. I'll put, but I do have like, this must be to a gold fish bowl or something. I can need that. And I'm not sure which people go with, with which. I'll put the people together for you. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. I can handle that. And there is a, a hair to be on a, I doubt that's supposed to be like that. Let's say that's a little boy. A boy there. And I don't think that this is the right combination of, of people here. Maybe this is supposed to be, a, it might be it's supposed to be a little girl, I think. That looks better. And then we've got probably like the the sales guy, and then the, the pet store visitor. I still can't believe those were the wrong wheels. That's a real thing. Can you show us your pirate ship? We bought it for the outfield, but she's thinking of the ship. Sure, I can go get that. Okay. Lexi girl, where are you? Really? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, that's how you As she it. almost steps on it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Mommy's not sorry. I'm sorry, of course I'm sorry. Ah, so there is the pirate ship. So Brian built this one. Which which alt build did you guys build? I want him to take it apart and build more, but he hasn't taken it apart yet to build the others. I don't know if anybody's aware of the backlog that we have and everything <laughs> that she keeps asking me to do for her. No. I am not. <laughs> aware of the backlog, yes, I know. But it is pretty cool. Like uh, it's kind of like a spontaneous pickup at the store when we went one time. Because everybody had been talking about it. I know some people take like two and put them together. And that's pretty cool. Chocolate frogs. I don't know anything about chocolate frogs, my bricks and me. Harry uh, Potter. Well, well, I know that, but she's saying something about, and aren't they putting in those chocolate frogs too? So I'm not sure. Uh, into the like, like real chocolate frogs? Um, in general, do you prefer the rebrickable modular mocks or the official Lego modulars? Um, kind of. I don't I, know if it's a proof of one or the other. Just uh, love the variation. Yeah, like uh, it's really nice to build the classic set, but then it's really, I feel like it's kind of a, exciting to build uh, the rebrickable because you kind of, you, you know what, well, obviously you see the pictures of both. You know what everything's going to look like in the end, but you, you know that not everyone is doing the alt build. So it feels like something kind of special, like it's kind of unique, even though, um, it's not 100% your own or any of your own. Yeah, we don't fix that hair. Hey, hey, stream. <laughs> How's it going? Not much. Um, um, what'd you guys build him? Uh, he's building, the dad's building the rest of the pet shop for me because he finished the Ecto-1. Oh, cool. Well, it came with sort the wrong wheels. It's sort of finished. Huh. Do we need new wheels? We do need new wheel parts or whole new wheels. I'm not 100% sure yet. Have a good string. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, anything on dinner? Anything on dinner? Um, no, there is nothing on dinner. Yeah. Oh. Um, did you get ham steak? I did not. I forgot to put it on the list. Mmm. So what are we gonna give him for dinner? I hate to say any more process <coughs> processed food on the stream. We didn't plan this very well. I don't know if we can do dinner time streams if we don't actually um, cook dinner ahead of time. <laughs> oh. oh, his bicycles are challenging, my friend. Yeah, so. You want me to do that one too? Yes, you need to do the bicycle wheel. You need to just build it all, please. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. But I'm, I'm definitely really like, I'm really like anxious to start moving the city around. Um, with all this open space, like it's uh, just uh, trying to figure out what goes next to what is way more challenging than I had originally thought. Or maybe I didn't, didn't even think about the fact that it would be challenging. But I feel like we also need to have, since we own everything um, or, or own a lot more modules, I feel like we, we need to like get them all built to really decide on any sort of layout because we're missing key ones inside the city right now. So it's, I don't want to get too like, here's our, here's the, you know, here's the uh, layout because I feel like I know um, like the town hall is going to look better in the back, but we don't have the boat yet. Uh, hey, Lego Joe. Oh, you're not. Late, I guess. PB and J. <laughs> he could have a peanut butter sandwich. I don't think he likes J though. Um, he's not a J kind of guy. Uh, 
uh, need to get dinner. Bye, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yes, random kid, we know about the dinner thing. Uh, enjoy your dinner. Yeah, invite us over if you're having something yeah, I good. I know, I know. Can you feed Liam for me? Because apparently he's not going to feed himself. If he did, it'd probably be the the uh, white chocolate balls that my my mother brought him today. So we're going to refrain from that. So I am, uh, I got to get more stuff to make Mills plates though, because I think that I am, I don't have enough to do the alt builds that we have planned. So I'm going to place another order for that. And then I want to build a construction site in the city as well. So I have my eye on set 60076 so that I can make a little construction site to, to show where a new building is going to go. And then I think that will be a cool addition to have like a, a holding place. But I'm clearly going to need a lot more green space. I wish I had. Some, I, I wish I could help you. Can I do anything to help you? I don't know. Do you want to do something to help? Me? Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> you might as well just whatever you like, do. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can help you. Do you have a Star Wars set you're looking forward to building first? Uh, I think I'm really looking to forward to building that R2-D2. Yeah. Yes. I think he's going to be a lot of fun. I love uh, Tan Jam's working on a serving tray from episode six when uh, R2-D2 is the servant for Jabba, and they have him serving drinks on the sail barge. So... I'm really looking forward to seeing how that build comes out from Tanjam and then working on doing something like that too. Yeah, I'd like to get the sail barge. I like that. I'd always like that set. So maybe we'll add that to the, the list. I'm not as excited about just those big ships though. But I definitely want to get um, some of the things that are reminiscent of the movie. Uh, have you looked at the alt build for the pirate ship for this one? Or the alt build like the, the three in one other builds or like or like the two in one, like where people take the two and put it together? I, I haven't investigated that if that's what you're you're referring to. Uh, the creator pirate ship is on my list. It is pretty cool for sure. Um, do you have Barracuda Barracuda Bay uh, Cosmo Candy? I don't know what too much about the difference and we already have i feel like this is now the fourth pirate ship we have in this house um all of them in various stages of the, from in the box to in a pile of bin bricks to uh already built kind of thing so we're, we're definitely pirate friendly here um it's funny all the cannons and stuff the same the really the same look for like the cannons we have so many of these i think these are these do a, a little newer than what we've had but all very similar, but it's neat that this whole thing is brick built, like the whole, the, what is it called, the hull? The hull of it is all brick built. We have ones that are- Just for the. Um, what? Just for the. Huh? Hull of it. Oh, that's bad. Um, we have ones where it's all a molded piece or two molded pieces. And then I like this brick built mermaid on the front. That's pretty cool. I actually have a Lego mermaid uh, minifig, but I really like the way they did that. And it did come with a shark. And there's like a brick built, like little um, parrot over on the side there. That's cute. And I like the sails. I like the sails that are brick built as well. We have a lot of cloth sails hanging around and they really get dirty and dusty pretty easily. So I think it's neat that they did a pirate ship like this for sure. Uh, Barracuda Bay is a great set. Lots of detail. Yeah. Um, get the older sail barge. Gosh. 
there's all there's all it seems like there's always an old one and then an older one i know the older ones always seem um just to be that much more intriguing so we'll have to we'll have to get barracuda bay set up too i don't know that would be a fun one to to have in a water area to do like a, a goonies setup You're coming right along. That heater is loud. Yes. Uh, I bet you. Can you guys hear our heater kick on? That thing is like super. We got a new uh, heater or furnace in to take care of that room back there in the rest of the house. And when that thing kicks on, it sounds so. Um, like the mothership's going to take off. Yeah, it sounds like the house is just going to lift off. But... It goes along with the lighting we have now. <laughs> we add in a lot of extra bright lighting up here. Not those ones in the kitchen, though. Those are still regular. But hopefully, and now, of course, it's getting darker outside. Normally, we wouldn't um, be on at this time, I don't think. Because we, we still didn't deal with the dinner issue. So one of us might have to make him something. By one of us, she means me. Yeah, probably not me. I can't help you. I can get out. All right, well, I can start sorting for him at least. That would be good. Then I can have the next bag and push this over. Because this is the last uh, chunk of this build, bags four. So. And then we can move on to the, the next module, which would be nice. Will it mix you up if I toss in a little bit, little bins, uh, little little bricks inside this? Yes. What? Can I do this? Can I empty this into here? If you want to, I guess. Because even though I said yes, it's going to mess me up. She's going to do <laughs> I don't it anyway. I think it's going to mess you up. You're almost done. Yes, but now I have a lot more to sort through. Oh, anybody want to wipe? Hey. Uh, hey, p pal, what's going on? Couple building adorable. Oh, I know. I know, we're really more exciting usually. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> So BFAB always has lots of intriguing questions. So I feel like I feel like BFAB should share some of his wisdom with us today. And uh, Kellyanne says, uh, uh, do you cook a lot, Brian? I do the cooking, absolutely. Now see, people can't really see you very well. You could move over closer to me. But I don't want to. I know, come on. Oh, come on. Yes, dear. Look at that. You really close. See, couples. <laughs> Uh, I try to make him do all the cooking, Kellyanne. I really suck at it. Um, I I don't. I can. Uh, I she can. doesn't suck at it. She just finds it more convenient for me to do it. No, well, I don't enjoy it though. So I kind of like don't measure and um and and I don't. I just don't enjoy like the prep work, and I don't enjoy like juggling um, cooking three things at once. I can do things. Um, but I'm told that I don't cook with love, and therefore my food taste reflects that. But I can cook, um, you know, normal things like pasta. <laughs> I mean, I can boil water. Sometimes I turn it on, and I forget, and I walk away, and then there's no water left, and I have to start over. So that, um, that on occasion, is an issue. A lot of times I will just turn the oven on and preheat it, and then just forget about it, uh, even after it beeps. And then, uh, yeah, I'll pour the pasta into the water and then 
just kind of walk away. <laughs> so it's really not on my list of things, but he likes to make things. Like he made a lasagna earlier. Um, and then, oh, you made the poppers. Oh, you should go preheat the oven and put those in. I guess I'm being told what I need to do. So uh, I hope everybody uh, sticks around for the rest of the chat. You're just going to go open. put the popper. You're going to preheat the oven is all I'm asking you to do. And then I'm going to come back here and you're going to ask me to make well, dinner for I, the kid. I know. You've got to think of what you're going to make them though. Peanut butter sandwich. Oh, he's going to hate that. Okay. So again, so I'm not coming back. <laughs> well, then you should, you should talk to him about what he wants. Um, so have a good one. If I make it back, I make it back. If um, not, keep Sarah entertained. <laughs> My bricks and me, one wife is all I can handle. <laughs> uh, my my questions are always the best. They are, uh, they are. I've seen enough of them to know that uh, it's a it's like a it's a surprise every time. So, <laughs> some sometimes a little awkward surprise, <laughs> but nonetheless, and uh, I don't think that Brian would ask me for my jacket if you were cold. How's that one? I can boil water. Uh, I can boil water too, Twinning. Yeah, I can't be fat. Uh, I can do it. I mean, sometimes I boil it till there's nothing left, right? But you can always start over. Um, I've left like, uh, and then sometimes I do the French press for my coffee and I pour Let's see. So I've, I've let the water boil so long I've had not enough water, so I've had to start over. And then I've poured the water into the coffee, and I've let it sit for so long I forgot about it, and it's gone cold. Um, so I guess I'm kind of like a squirrel. Like I start things, and then I'm just kind of over all over the place with finishing things. I love starting projects. Um, uh, Darling, he'll be back, I'm sure. Uh, I made a modular building yesterday, says Lego Joe. Awesome. Um, by the way, I'm really liking your channel. I think I can kind of see with my glasses. Well, thank you, Lego Joe. Uh, we're, we're trying to make it likable. So when we have people on that are likable, that helps make it more likable, I guess. Um, it's always nice to have uh, some good chat going on. Uh, I can usually carry... I can usually carry a chat, you know, pretty well on my own because I, I talk to myself a lot. So uh, I was trying to be nice. If I'm cold, I'm taking the jacket. She can freeze. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, sometimes, well, my husband will give me his jacket, though. So that's very nice of him. Very nice of him. Um, I just finished a stream working on my city, by the way. Awesome, Lego Joe. Uh, hey, Blower Bricks, how's it going? Welcome to the chat. Yeah, shopping center does sound fun for a build. Absolutely. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help him. I'm going to help him and be good, and I'm going to sort for him. So that that's, that's how I'm going to be helpful while he's cooking. It probably will end up not being very helpful. There's a lot of these little bricks. Uh, your husband is nice. Poor guy. Must be cold all the time. Well, he should just learn to wear, wear more layers, BFAB. So, like, you know, after you, so we've been together for 25 years now. So, if, in that amount of time, if he hasn't learned that he needs to wear more layers because that might happen, or to take an extra jacket just because I won't learn in 25 years, but he should, right? I like all these blue bricks with the, um, the groove in them. That's pretty nice. What you got, Brian? Green beans. Oh, green beans. We, we buy green beans in the can by the case for the dog. The dog loves green beans. And the dog, uh, the vet said the dog had to lose a little weight. So we play some of the, the dry food with the green beans. And uh, I think she loves it. All you gotta do is be like, do you want your green beans? And she'll like, patiently wait for you out the can opener and kind of see it. It's like green beans. Uh, 
25 years, <laughs> respect, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is a, it is a, about a lot of respect for sure. <laughs> but yeah, we've been together since, uh, since 25 years. Maybe a little. Uh, I don't remember the year. Um, well, <laughs> well, it's, nine, well, no, so not, it'd be 24, so 1997, right? No, we met in 1996. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No. Yes, we did. Oh, we, no, 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 97. I'm right, 97. Um, it's all good though. So now we're gonna build together, which is a lot of fun. So we decided that this was gonna be our joint hobby because we had done it in the past and enjoyed it. And then life just got in the way. Um, and having, you know, having a kid, I know some of you in here can relate to that, probably some of you cannot. Um, but definitely things change uh, in the, when the kids are, younger and then you know you go through phases and then they change back again as they get older and can do more stuff on their own and they don't need to be watched constantly so now we're at a stage like we're not empty nesters by any uh means but um definitely at a stage where we need more to do like it's less about the kid and now it's going to be more about us so i thought lego was a perfect way to do that especially since you know we don't necessarily want to only do things where you leave the house. I thought about taking up golf. Um, thought that would be fun, but you have to leave the house to do that. So sometimes you want to do something where you don't have to leave the house. So we kind of dove into Lego. And when we dove into Lego, I mean, we just like jumped in with like, with all our clothes on, we didn't like test the water. We just decided, hey, let's do this. And we just went out and bought like everything. How's it going back there? What are you making? Hamburgers. Oh, hamburgers. I guess that works. Cheeseburgers? No, hamburgers. No, cheeseburgers. You need to make cheeseburgers. No, I'm making hamburgers. Okay. So the kids can eat hamburgers. He'll be good with that. That'll work. I once had a kid. They arrested me shortly afterwards. Oh, uh, there's that humor that we we know and love, BFAB. So no one be scared by BFAB. He comes out with great things. Uh, they, <laughs> they make you wonder sometimes. Uh, but at the same time, he is a great supporter of all things LEGO. <laughs> or all people in, with LEGO. So what's everyone doing? Is anyone building anything? You can't just be sitting here watching me sadly sort these these bricks. So you guys gotta tell us what you're up to. And of course my phone died, so I have to like stare intently at the, the chat so that my eyes can focus and I can read it. I'm not sure about this art set. Which is this art set? The Star Wars art sets, uh, I'm not 100% sold on because you have to get like far enough back. And then, then you can kind of see it. So, but up close, they just kind of look like a bunch of dots to me. So I do like the Mickey and Minnie art sets. Be curious to see what else they come up with. I really want to see this world map thing because I definitely would purchase something like that, even though it's um, sounds like it's going to be pretty big and pricey, but I think it's going to be really cool too. They're, oh, you're doing the Hedwig alt build. Um, well, it's, there's no instructions for that, right? You're just following along with the um, the internet picture. We did the Crest alt build, um, but I think art is one of those. The Lego art is still 
fairly tedious, but at the same time kind of, um, I don't know, I think it's kind of relaxing in the fact that you're sort of following a pattern more than doing special building techniques and things. Hi, Sunshine on a Rainy Brick. How's it going? What are you guys building? You guys all done with poo over there? Um, I know you guys were, were working on that, weren't you? I'm hyped for the Elvis mosaic. It's rumored to have over 10,000 pieces, which would be insane. Oh, wow. Absolutely insane. Um, so I imagine that would be like uh, giant, like when mo lots put together, huh? Uh, uh, they have actually been released on Lego.com. Okay, because I know like they were showing the pictures and then um, then they didn't have the instructions, so they took the pictures. So it's nice that they put it all back up there. I don't know. Would we get any more? Those are kind of cool. I kind of like them. I mean, we did the, the Crest one that we bought from Rebrickable, and I think that looks really cool. So now all you guys can do is hear my husband cooking back there. You can see him. Um, I can't wait <coughs> to get into the Lego room where it's, uh, we're not going to have like the kitchen right here and all that. But until then, you guys can see our lovely staircase and there's that, see that giant beam right there? Um, you can see the refrigerator is right next to it. And on the other side of that is like a cupboard with the glasses. So I can't tell you how many times people hit their head on that beam next to the fridge. And because of the beam right there, the fridge can only be like a smaller scale fridge. They didn't, I don't know when they designed the kitchen in 1990. Um, they didn't design it so like a full size kitchen, or the fridge could fit in there. So it's it's like an apartment size fridge. It's, it's definitely different. When we moved, when we moved and you know, you, you pack up your, your refrigerator and you kind of transfer it. I'm transferring it going, this isn't right. And I'm looking at the thing. And of course it doesn't look oddly small in there because of just the way it's set up. But you know, all of a sudden you're like, this, this refrigerator is not as big as the other one. Absolutely not. We make it work, but things are like piled in there. I suppose I could get crafty at like Ikea and get more organizers and things, but we just stack things. Like no one puts anything back like where it really should go. They just like toss it in. So... Yes, all done with Winnie the Pooh. Definitely a fave set for uh, Al Aliana and I. Am I saying that right? Alana and I. I can't read all the A's and the I's in there. Busy queen, so probably won't comment much, but glad to join. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the alternate builds are so much better than the original builds. Is that, do you think that for most of them, CFAB, or, or the art stuff? I, I really think that's pretty neat to see what uh, the like non-LEGO designers come up with with just those bricks. It's extremely creative to be able to use um, just a certain type of brick to accomplish something, even when they know there's more efficient pieces out there. So I'm pretty hyped on that. We're going to start... I really want to part out both garages this month um, and do both alt builds for the garages uh, together on a stream because I think it'll be neat to compare just how, how versatile the garage is. So that's one of our goals. And then that'll give us two more modulars to put in the city as well. I wouldn't mind having another pet shop too. Well, I guess I could be building... Look at that, he gathers his pieces. I wonder if I move over here. There we go. I can sit over here too. So you can see our couch shelves right there. Oop, oop, there they are. So that's pretty cool. We can now put, I don't know if you can see it. Our NASA spaceship is there. And then the Spring Lantern Festival is next to it. And then down in there, we have uh, some of the, like the chariot promo and the Ulysses Probe promo. They haven't really filled much in yet. And then you can see the Millennium Falcon lit up right in there. So that's pretty cool. And then there's this couch shelf that you can see, but then there's one that goes around the corner there. So that still has a lot of empty holes too. But I was going to buy these 
um, Sterilite brand three drawer um, little units and, and put them inside those, those squares. But they're like, I don't know, a couple of sixteenths of an inch too big, too wide, like 13, that's a 13 and a half opening and um, the things are like 13 and five eighths or something. So just like, just like a hair too big. So I don't know if anyone's found anything that goes in those or not. I'm more afraid to just start putting things down, but I think I'll be okay. Uh, wow. I cannot see y'all chat at all. Um, I think for the HP ones, the alts look better. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I did not, I wouldn't have built it just for the one crest. Um, I like the way the two, all, what, huh? No, but I hear it ringing. It might be down here from, um, I, I do think that, okay, Liam, I'm still talking, hon. Um, I do think that the crest uh, looks better with all four on one, but I did not want to buy four to make it. I, there was, that was not going to be my best use of $500 for sure. Uh, hey, Kendra, how's it going? Um, are you following me? Oh, are you trying to, to be fab? Uh, hello, Lego Din, how's it going? Stocking is quite mutual. <laughs> yeah. We, we, I guess on the weekends, we kind of get around everywhere, I feel like. Are you the, the real brother from another brick? <laughs> yes, he's, he's uh, I would say he's the real one. He's given us some, some fun comments, so I'm, I'm guessing he's the real one. But that's cool if you get to a point in your, your YouTubiness where um, oh, now I don't know if I'm pulling from the right pieces or not. I'm going to start doing this, Brian. See what I get here. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually working. For those of you just hopping on, here is my pet shop townhouse on a Mills plate. It's going to go into the city very soon. We're going to do an update on the city placement very soon as soon as I come up with an idea on how to arrange all the modulars. So just trying to finish up the modulars in the backlog to, so we have something to work with. Uh, where does this one go? Oh. A lot of fake BPAB accounts. It must be nice to have someone want to make a fake account after you. Oh, I can put my screen brightness up. That would really help the reading. I hadn't even realized the screen brightness was down to about half. Crazy. That makes it so much easier to read. Look at that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have poured all this stuff in now. Oh. What happened to your husband? Did he uh, step on a Lego brick and had to go to the hospital? Uh, oh, I moved in front of him, but you can actually see that he is. There he is. Oh, <laughs> funny. He's cooking back there. Um, eventually we won't be in this area either. So uh, it won't have to be like watching people cook at the same time. I guess we could add a cooking portion to the YouTube channel. He always makes good stuff. Oh, okay. So, BFAB, do you have a party boat? 
Oh, we're all about the party boat here. Who's got the friends party boat? We're going to be doing a, an awesome party boat stream at some point with a bunch of people who all seem to want to build a party boat or don't want to build a party boat, but now have to build a party boat. It was flattering at first when people made fake accounts, but then they started going on other people's streams and saying really uh, inappropriate stuff and bully. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure that is kind of a bummer for sure because you don't want to be known to be that person either. And that that's really, gosh, I wish people weren't like that. I mean, we had, you know, obviously what we've got 20 people on and it's so we had someone come on yesterday or the day before and they were uh, very inappropriate and um, before I knew it they had like six comments out there that I was trying to get to um, just one letter spelling out a word uh, and it's just like gosh how do you like is this what you do for your day like just go on to to streams and stuff and do this. And when there's not many people on, and I'm grateful for every person that is on right now, but when there are not that many people on, you uh, absolutely notice when someone comes on and says, like, you know, the most inappropriate things, there's just no way to hide it, you know? I mean, you do hide it, but what I'm saying is like, it just stands out for sure. And what, so that's really awful though someone thinks that like that's what they're going to do with their time i felt i feel so bad for the kids a fake bfab came in and told kids his stream was garbage but someone watching the stream let me know and i showed up and tried to explain to the kid it wasn't me oh that's awful that is awful uh Oh, you guys have the party boat, sunshine and rainy day. Yeah, we're going to have like a party boat fun stream. There's a whole bunch of us. My Bricks and Me has a party boat. And we've got some uh, other people who uh, I actually lost a kind of a, a little bet uh, to get the party boat. So I actually didn't intentionally buy the party boat. Um, but it's kind of a thing. So um, about four of us have a party boat. And we have a couple of friends who are going to take their party boat apart to build it again. So it should be a fun time. Uh, LOL, party boat. Uh, are you expecting someone, Brian? Am I expecting someone? Yeah. No. There's someone outside. I see that. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I'll take care of it. Okay. Um, uh, do I, should I buy it? Um, <laughs> well, apparently, I mean, we, we all, you know, uh, Tan Jam and, and Tommy Rich here, we're all going to get Trevor and Kellyanne, and it's going to be a big party boat sort of thing. So I don't know. You might need to. It's a little more expensive. Oh, Amazon's oh. delivering in pickup trucks now. Oh, that's crazy. That's a big Amazon box. Well, that's <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, okay. Star Wars is, is being delivered, but the guy is literally coming in a jacked up pickup truck. Um, nice, like a nice looking truck. It's not like, so we're, and he's wearing a safety vest, but you're kind of like, hmm, interesting. But I did the Star Wars I ordered today was uh, like one day, same day delivery, except for the Porg. And, but if I wanted to pay $20 more for the Porg, I could have gotten the same day. Um, Yeah, I bet he was really confused, BFAP. Sorry, I'm just skipping around everywhere. Uh, yeah, party bow. Uh, oh, don't open it. I'm going to do a whole... Look at that. i got to do a whole Star Wars haul there. Oh, Darla's going to do the party bow. Are you going to join us? Uh, oh, no. Creeps outside your home. It's a little weird. Um <coughs> <coughs> No COVID, it's not COVID. I mean, I didn't need the Star Wars today, but it said one day delivery, so. Uh, grab that shotgun. <laughs> I know we're on a cul-de-sac too, so it's like, you know, when, when someone comes down here, I feel like everyone just kind of stares out their window. If it's not like 
There's one more house past us. And then there's one house across the street. And I feel like, and I know each of their cars. So I'm always like staring, like I stand at the window and I stare and I, I watch them circle around. And we live in, for our town, we live in an A-frame house, which is very different. And most people, <coughs> <coughs> COVID. COVID, I know. Not COVID. Not COVID. I don't have a fever. I don't have any of those other symptoms. Not not that you could get it through the computer. Uh, but my voice sounds a lot better. But where was I going with this? Oh, cul-de-sac. Same cars. Oh, we have an A-frame house. And when it was for sale a couple years ago, are you coming back? Yes. Oh. When it was for sale a couple of years ago, it was on like the news because it had an indoor pool in it, which is it was in that room right there. So we bought it pretty fast. <coughs> I can move over here. Yes, um, we bought it pretty fast. So people were constantly um, coming down and staring. They would drive by and do the slow stare because it's just so different. You don't see an A-frame house where we live. You see colonial houses with the the very like big front doors and so we have the <coughs> top <coughs> he's all talking uh, yes let me know when yes i'll keep you posted darla for sure um yeah another party boat person oh i'm so <laughs> sorry darla <coughs> I know I might not be able to keep talking. That is Star Wars, you see, Trevor, but we're not unveiling it yet. We're going to do a big <laughs> thing on that. You got to give me some video material. Oh, Trevor, you already know what it all is. I know. I always fake cough near people and they freak out. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's definitely a way to keep people away from you, for sure. I know. I was... <coughs> we're in like... We were in line to get ice cream yesterday, and you know I have my mask on, like I'm supposed to, and all. But I'm like trying not to cough at <laughs> like a an eating establishment. Mm -hmm. But my um, voice sounds a lot better than it had for a while. <clears throat> I wish I had COVID. I need a work vacation that I get paid for. Mm -hmm. I don't know. A couple times. I don't know. There was some times he was going to work, beef out, and he was like taking his temperature. And I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "I don't want to go to work." And I'm like, "You'd rather have COVID." He's like, "Sometimes, pretty much, if I feel okay and I just have a little, little fever, but it's definitely not something to super joke about." I know actually you have a lot of people who got COVID. Um, I think all all recovered. There, we know people who know people that didn't recover, but um. But yeah, like I had to go to the dentist. I'm like, do I, do I? Uh, and no, <laughs> no. Um, Sarah really loves going to the dentist. Uh, no, ever. Yeah, I have to get, um, I actually have to get another surgery in July. And that will, should hopefully be the end of my uh, dental surgery. When I was 16, um, I dropped a dumbbell on my face. You can imagine a like a twenty pound dumbbell falling. I'm laying like I was laying on my back doing a like a dumbbell chest press, and it was ones where you screw on the ends, like screw on the plates. But I guess I didn't really tighten it, and the the plate fell off onto my face. Um, so uh, I sort of been recovering from that all my life, I guess. Uh, it, it, we, they were able to kind of fix it right, you know, um, somewhat okay. I was like 16. Um, and then just over the years, it, it, they told me it wasn't going to hold and, uh, they were right. So, but then, uh, they were like, well, now you need, you really need to get braces before, you know, you get a new tooth. And I'm like, awesome. So I got Invisalign. It was supposed to be done like, in last summer, but then with COVID, the like the dentist shut down and they weren't like seeing people. So I couldn't like keep getting the trays. Um, so the braces extended and then um, uh, then I needed like 
all sorts of dental surgery after that. Cause you know what? They put dead person's bone in my mouth. <laughs> it's fun to say that. Yep. Quite entertaining. <laughs> so it's, it's like, but I didn't get these superpowers. I'm really disappointed that like, I thought when I healed up, maybe I'd be able to do something really cool or different. You're going to no. get visited by the ghost of I know. <laughs> the ghost of whose ever bone is in my mouth. So, but I just had a checkup and they said that that person's bone is agreeing with mine really nicely. <laughs> Finally, somebody <laughs> plays well with Sarah. Yeah, I just, I just go to the dentist to Fort Weather. It's great and creepy. Nice. <laughs> Uh, my mother dropped the weight on my face, too. Or <laughs> That's what she tells people. <laughs> oh, dog's fed and happy. Good, my bricks and me. Uh, yep, party boat, Darla Bricks. Uh, I know. I, you know it's it's really the, the right BFAB when you, you, uh, you get this kind of conversation, Cosmo. <clears throat> you guys are crazy, both of us. <laughs> Well, it's like people, I think I, well, I think I, uh, my bricks and me, I, I, I gave her that line, like, uh, in a message, and I was like, yeah, like, uh, this, I'm going to the dentist to see if the dead person's bone is working, or something like that, and she's like, I've never heard someone write this, I've never seen anyone write that before, so it's really fun, it's like a conversation starter, <laughs> like, you know, if, you know if you can have a conversation with someone by how they respond to that comment, that's how I, I like to judge people. Like <laughs> if they have something to cool to say, or at least don't look at you like you're a freak, then we're good to continue the conversation. <laughs> if they run away screaming, well, they weren't my kind of people anyway. So let's see, do we have any less people on the stream? Oh, we got a couple less people on the stream now. Maybe <laughs> maybe they didn't do dead bone. <laughs> oh, we are crazy. You haven't asked them to see your dentures yet. <laughs> I haven't, Brian always asked me like, before I did a video, did, did you put your teeth back in? <laughs> I know all y'all want to know that. Are you on to bag four now? So, I think so. All right, so cheeseburgers are cooked, right? Yes, dear. So you just gonna let him be up there? I told him. And what did he say? He's on with uh, Matt and Julian. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So I guess he's all set. He didn't need dinner as much as he thinks he needed dinner. He'll be starving when he comes down. Yeah, so it'll be ready. It'll be somewhat cold, but he'll be ready. Dead bones are the best. <clears throat> I well, you know, I think it's a. I think it's a good conversation starter or ender. <laughs> One of the two, like. <laughs> I mean, they said they could take bone from my chin or like inside my mouth. And I was like, man, nah, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Um, so I'll take the other person's so like they don't need it anymore. But I don't know if I'd become a Lego master builder afterwards or maybe like learn how to fly, but nothing happened. <clears throat> I have to agree, Sarah. Yeah. It takes a it takes a strong person to remain friends with me, I guess. Oh my goodness, look at the see. Like I'm not doing a good job. You're doing a fantastic job. Like everything's all nicely sorted here. Well okay. This is gonna go together in no time. So what's your latest video on your channel, BFAB? You always got some good stuff going on. Tell us about what you're talking about. If he's still there. Uh, I heard I heard chicks really dig people with fake teeth, so I'm going to go knock out all my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a... Uh... <laughs> you no, know, they don't, actually, just so you know. <laughs> my poor husband here. He's <laughs> grown very accustomed. Um, I wear the Invisalign right now. So I actually, right now, I don't have a front tooth. Because, of course, when I dropped it on my face, I dropped it on the front of my face. How it didn't take out both, I don't know. And how um, 
<laughs> How it wasn't worse than it was, I don't know. But, oh, man. I am looking forward to not wearing the Invisalign because it's not a bad thing at all. Like, it's been really great in terms of having braces. I don't know if anyone's ever had braces. I like the metal kind. I did not. I, was, I should have when I was a kiddo, but um, my mother asked me if I wanted braces. And I'm not sure you ask a 10-year-old if they want to have braces or not. You just tell them. So I really should have anyway. But these have been fine. Although when you talk a lot, um, the you know the plastic trays really dry out your mouth. And then you start like making the... the start talking like shit. <laughs> I do start to like make... Um, so it sounds a lot. And sometimes it whistles. <laughs> oh, the cat. It was, look at the cat staring. <laughs> Cat's going to attack the audience. Uh, uh, let's see. Editing a new video while listening to y'all. Oh, nice. <laughs> I hope we're entertainment. Try to be entertaining. I don't do very well BFAB actually building and talking. So a lot of times I sit here and I don't build anything. It's not very productive for getting Lego done. Sometimes I do it like a Lego lunch and I just sit here and I talk. <clears throat> as long as I have someone good to talk to, though. Thank God I only hang around all blind women. I go, oh, geez, are gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't need a trick. You, need, you have Lego. Way less maintenance. Oh. <laughs> Very true. Well, unless you're me, I don't even own makeup. I don't own makeup. I don't own a hair dryer. I don't own a curling iron. I do have a hairbrush. And I actually started brushing my hair more <laughs> when we started. People are going to see me. People are going to see me, my hair. And even then, my hair goes through different stages. You know, after I. It's so frustrating. It is. It is. It gets real fuzzy some days. Other days, it's not. So, like, every live stream is like, ooh, what's her hair going to look like today? Um, I should have gotten braces. Now my teeth look like a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, I need someone to give me fake compliments. My Lego sets can't do that. All right. <laughs> I know the Lego sets do just kind of sit there. Do you give me fake compliments? Never. When have I ever complimented you? <laughs> oh. I remember when I asked you about how my Winnie the Pooh Lego set was, and you said, if if you like it, <laughs> if it makes you happy. So I'm kind of thinking that <laughs> you did Those like comments it. went over really well. <laughs> you know, like, like uh, you know, do, they, do these jeans make my butt look big? <laughs> what jeans? <laughs> what jeans? That? I just wear spot pants. <laughs> they probably make it look big too. <laughs> oh, but you don't mind, right? It's all good. I wear sweatpants every day. All right. What is this? Is the only one of these? in this whole bag. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, Heather. I think that that response is a very husband thing to say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, ladies give me fake compliments all the time. If someone is unattractive, they're like, there's someone, there's someone out for you and no one is ugly. Oh. Uh, Nice. You're so nice. This this bald, shiny head. Surprised surprised not reflecting those lights behind you. Oh, but if I angle myself just right, I, I, the, the light just really reflects off the nose perfectly. It is. I can, I can see how it's yeah. highlighted. It's very nice. It's very big. Your, his nostrils are huge. They can fit. They can fit like two of my <laughs> fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the stream the stream just keeps dropping and dropping. No, it's not. There's still like eight people. Those are our people. The, the two that left, those aren't our people. They don't want to hear about big noses and dead people's bones while building Lego. Welcome to Lego. <clears throat> your husband your husband is the sexier version of Mr. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, That's a good one. I never really thought <laughs> about that. You're right. You need to work on the muscles. I think Mr. Queen has some bigger muscles, though. <laughs> I'll give him those dumbbells that fell in my face. Chloe Baker, how's the build coming along? Well, as you can see, we're, we've been talking a lot about um, dead people's teeth. And... Um, uh, other various things. So, Chloe, it's coming along pretty well, uh, uh, right? So here, we'll show Chloe. Oh, isn't this cute? So we have, we're on bag four, and he's making the um, floor right now for the pet shop, or what's above the pet shop, I'm not entirely sure, but inside the pet shop, it's very cute. There's a kitty, um, there's a dog, there's a fish in a fish tank. There are parrots. Uh, there's a yellow frog, maybe I mentioned that. I'm not sure what the yellow frog up on the stand is for. But it is cute, but I think I'm gonna call it my, my um, I'm gonna put a little sign out front and call it my like pet rescue. I feel like that would be nicer than a pet shop. So that is how it's coming along. Uh, Hi again, Juliet. I would love to see your son. Um, he's actually upstairs. A friend called him, so I doubt he'll be back down anytime soon until he gets hungry. Uh, Chloe Baker says, "Ooh, it's looking great. Your mom must have this one. I bet. Oh, you might be. You might uh, see the cat here in a minute, though. Um, my gym teacher said something. <laughs> so let's see what the cat does. Don't. All right. There we go. She's gonna join us." Uh, Sarah and Brian, are you getting vaccinated? He is already fully vaccinated. Um, the Army had some special times available for him, and I was going to go with him one day until I realized I needed the uh, five-year renewal on my license, and we went to do that. And they and they ask if you wear glasses, and I'm like, um, yeah, I've, I've had them on my license now for years and years and years. And they said, oh, well, you'll need to bring us a eye doctor, an eye doctor's note. Uh, so. It's just because you're old. I guess it's because I'm old, but I don't remember having to do that for, I mean, it might be something new. Well, you're old now. You weren't I'm old, old then. I'm not, I wasn't old then. Yeah. Um, so I actually have an eye doctor's appointment on Tuesday. So then I'll be able to schedule something. So long story short, yes and no, but I will be at some point here. Uh, I wish that I would have gotten that modular when it was available. Yeah, Heather, and this is probably the cheapest retired one that you can get at the moment. Um, if you're lucky, you can still get it for maybe around 250, but I think it's a pretty cool one. Like I've enjoyed building it. I'm obviously not building it right now, but I've enjoyed building it a lot. Um, what are you looking for? I don't know. What do you need? This. Okay. Uh, oh my God, you you guys are old too. Fucking <laughs> twenty. <laughs> we are. <clears throat> we are very old. You're in good company, apparently. Mm -hmm. But we we are young at heart, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I feel old. <laughs> sometimes I feel old all day long. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to make this live stream or not, man. I needed a <laughs> coffee this afternoon real bad. Yeah, I try to I try to live stream around noon so that by now I'm like, is it bedtime yet? Because like 6.49, like sometimes we're in bed by like 8 p.m. So like some nights I'd be on the couch like an hour and 10 minutes from now going, oh, it's time for bed. <laughs> but I feel like a little more invigorated. The cat, I'm afraid the cat's going to... I don't know what she's doing here. Well, I love shuffleboard Sundays at the nursing home. Uh, <laughs> uh, taking a break before I need to head out and wake my still sleeping daughter. Oh, is it nap time? I totally remember nap time. Uh, I miss nap time. <laughs> nap time lasted until he was maybe like two and a half. And then I put him in half day preschool in the afternoon so that I got the better part of the morning with him. <laughs> um, uh, you love this set yeah I really really like this set I love all the modules I feel like each module has something 
uh, unique about it. So I can't say that I like one over the other, but when I'm building each one, I'm like, oh, I really love this one. I would say like the one that I have don't have a whole lot of feeling for one way or the other is the fire brigade. You know, I, I don't know. I don't feel like, like I, I knew I wanted to have it in the city, but as it was also frustrating. We were missing a whole bag of parts with that. One. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we bought a brand new uh, fire brigade and it was seriously missing one of the, the little Q bags that get put inside one of the bigger bags but we actually had a different bag filled with weird Technic pieces. So Lego was actually able to send us pretty much all of the pieces that we were missing, except for a couple random things. I don't know why they they didn't make the color yellow one by one cylinder anymore. So I don't know why they couldn't just send us like whatever yellow ones they do have now. Um, so, but we got like the crucial pieces, like it was missing the decorative fire helmets and stuff. That's so weird. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Shuffleboard Sundays. I've never played shuffleboard. Maybe I have played shuffleboard. <laughs> uh, feel it's a, a bit underrated. Just needs some TLC on the interiors. Yeah, the, the interiors are, are pretty are pretty low. But yeah, I do feel like maybe it's because of the price point. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the, the interiors, uh, I know I built a little couch down on the first one. I don't even remember what I did on the second one. There's a cute little bathroom, but definitely lacking. And you can see the progression of interiors over the years with the modulars for sure. But you could totally go back and do a little something in there. But I don't imagine I'll be opening them up very often. What's in the oven? Poppers. Oh, the poppers. We're having also having poppers, which are my favorite weekend meal, which are jalapeno peppers. Clear out the seeds, stuff it with cream cheese, wrap it in bacon, and uh, pop it. Oh, you okay? I did that. Pop it in the oven. Uh, if there's any set that you've built so far that hasn't been as good as you expected, has there been any set that you built that hasn't been as good as you expected? Nope. I have fun with all the sets, really. There's yeah. nothing that's unenjoyable for Lego. Yeah. No, I mean, like the, like the fire brigade, like I said, it wasn't memorable to me, but at the same time, I, you know, <clears throat> I don't know if I go in with any sort of expectation, maybe because I haven't done a ton of Lego building. So I don't know. Do um, I mean, we, we did buy the minions and like, I mean, I could take or leave that. Oh, in the Harry Potter sets, the book sets, like I didn't really like, they're a little confusing to me. Um, I mean, obviously, I could build them just fine. But, like, I, I could have passed on those, too. Um, they just didn't, I don't know. Uh, in order to get the promo, though, I think I needed to, <laughs> to purchase something Harry Potter because I wanted the Book of Monsters. <clears throat> uh, let's see. modulars are amazing. I think so. They're my favorite thing to build. And I love that we found all these alt builds on Rebrickable. Like, um, yeah, the first one I did was the London Tower Bridge into the Science Museum. And that was actually the first module I'd ever built. And I was like, uh, that was a, it was a project beyond project, just because of the sorting for the use set and all that. Uh, and the, the building for it was kind of tricky in some spots. And then I did a regular modular after that. And I'm like, whoa, this is a lot easier. Um, but I love the modulars. I'm glad they only come out with one a year, though. Because <clears throat> then, uh, then you kind of have that anticipation for it. Uh, before Lego, we would be in bed by like 7.30 because we were up at 5. Now it's like 10 p.m. It's no wonder that the coffee consumption has gone up considerably. Yeah, I, uh, uh, we definitely have been going to bed a little bit later because of Lego too, listening to people's streams, building. And I think once the Lego room is done, um, we may be up even later too, just because um, the lighting in here is definitely like subdued. We actually changed out all these light bulbs to get a little bit better lighting. But, uh, but when nighttime came around, the house kind of felt really dark and cozy. So of course you want to go to bed. So just as in the old fishing store with the pet store that your 
seeing now, Brian, under the floor, I feel it's super wasted space. Yes, like I was saying when I built like the foundation there, I you know, like you needed some some spider webs or something to put in there. Even Sesame Street. Well, Sesame Street had that too. They <coughs> all they did was tuck a spider web and a spider in there. Um, but there is a lot of it's interesting how they've evolved over the years. And you can see, I mean, obviously modules were less expensive to purchase new back then, but at the same time, um, you know, values have gone up, but they've also added so much more detail to the interior of the new modules. Uh, no, we haven't built the old fishing store yet. That's sitting back there on one of the Calyx shelves, and, and hopefully we'll get to that because then I can put it back where the box is. Uh, so we did not build that yet. So you did a spoiler <laughs> if you didn't. Oh, if you didn't spoiler alert. See, I didn't even see that. Um, uh, Sunshine on a rainy brick says, for me, there's been a few, but having just made up Cloud City for my daughter, would have to say that's a biggie. So did you, so did you, you got the Cloud City like play set? Is that the one you're referring to? Because I was looking at that. Um, oh, the Lego movie Cloud City. That's, oh, okay, because there's a, a big, <laughs> big Star Wars UCO. Oh, oh, there goes the bricks. Cloud City too. Um, so I haven't seen any of the, I haven't done much with the Lego City movie sets. Kind of like that big one with the Statue of Liberty, Apocalypse Bird. That looks really cool. Uh, I'm glad they only come out with one module a year because I can only do rob a certain amount of old ladies before I feel bad. Oh, poor old ladies. Uh, do you have any building ideas for my city? Well, what is the theme of your city? Does your city have a, a, a theme to it, I guess? I mean... Mine, however, is very classic. I'm going with classic theme, classic modules, alt builds. I'm going to have a, a park. Um, so I'm not going to get too crazy with mine. I know a lot of people put in a lot of superhero stuff, um, skyscrapers and things like that. I do want to do a Lego store at some point, um, but I'm not sure if I have anything exciting to add. I love building Lego, so sometimes I am up till 12 or 1 in the morning. I get so into building until I, I forget about time. <clears throat> uh, my eyes tell me it's done. Like, I'll be, like, really starting to put stuff together wrong and going really slowly. I'm much better getting up at, like, up before, up before 6 and uh, building with my coffee. I do a lot better with that. Hi there. Hey, Mom. Dinner time. Okay. Uh, same. It's crazy how time just goes by. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but we like take time in the evening, you know, with the with the kiddo there and watch some. We usually have a series we're watching. So sometimes once we get into that mode, like before his bedtime, it's kind of hard to. You know, once you've gotten on the couch and stuff like that, it's kind of like hard to get back out of that mode to to go do something productive. So sometimes we just go up to bed and then watch other people build Lego, which I'm not sure is <laughs> that productive either. You guys to watch videos to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, Liam. I fall asleep in like two minutes, so all I need to hear is... All I do is hear someone talking for a minute and then I'm like, yeah, out. I think about 20 minutes. Yeah. I get to like when Hagrid's dropping off Harry. Do you have, uh, do you have tiled sidewalks in your city, Lego Joe? Or are you doing, uh, are you doing the mills plates like, like you see here or uh, how, what do you have in your city already? I guess would be the, uh, the question. Uh, Kitty. Oh, hey, Plastic Architect. Awesome to see you here. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I enjoy your channel as well. 
Uh, I wish they did more creator car releases a year. Love that those. Yeah, I really want to try one, Chloe. I feel like I would enjoy building one of those. So maybe, um, probably not this uh, round in the in the store, but maybe when they get back a really cool promo for uh, regular Lego uh, purchases, then maybe I'll purchase the Porsche and see if I enjoy building that or not. Uh, sorry to bail, guys. Need to get the little... Ah, absolutely. No worries there. I know all about that. I let them sleep too long, and then bedtime is all mixed up. <clears throat> Sarah, my husband is the same way. He can fall asleep in a few minutes. Yeah, it's really easy for me to fall asleep anywhere. Like, <laughs> driving to the grocery... If we drive to, like, the grocery store five minutes away, I could fall asleep in the car. It makes driving, like, long distances really hard because I get tired super fast. So we have a house in Maine that's like seven hours away and I like can drive an hour and I'm done. Not helpful. I have a, let's see, uh, Lego Joe says, I have a garage, a Walmart, a skyscraper and a few other ones. Oh, cool, well, we gotta make like a Lego store for sure. Uh, that would be really cool or, or some kind of um, Lego store slash toy store. Well, I guess a Walmart, well, I'll do a Lego store. If you can pull up a Lego store, that'd be cool. Uh, you're welcome, Plastic Architect. Uh, definitely. We're um we're kind of a building duo here. Like I I like to read she the entertains, chat. She entertains. I build. I entertain. I don't know how entertaining I am. Um, She's very entertaining. I'm not that entertaining, but so I don't know if you see what we're building, but we have the um, most of the pet shop townhouse done. We do build our city on mills and we're just kind of, we just set up a whole new city area and, and shelving area in our last video. And we are going to be like really expanding the city, uh, designing it. We're very excited because up until now, we actually had to like, <clears throat> we continually traded places with this table for the city and doing like building and streaming. So now right over there uh, is our whole like, city set up that we are excited to start sharing and then our goal is actually to not be filming in our living room with like the kitchen back there and the staircase but in our converted garage that isn't converted yet but um i'm been assured it's next on the list to get done by our contractor who's actually working in that room way in the back there that you can see there we actually decided just to give him put our couches down there the other day. He's still got all his tools and stuff in there, but I'm like, you just gotta take these couches. Uh, we need to set up the Lego city tables. <clears throat> so, doo -doo -doo. Uh, oh, see lots of plastic architect fans. That's great. I love, I love meeting new people. I'm so glad you could come on over. Um, I keep the chat going. I try. Sometimes I run out of things to say. And then I got to think about things. Like, But we won't mention any more dental stuff. I think, I think <laughs> you set up. I don't, I'm a scare, that topic. I don't want to scare anyone away. <laughs> I know I've been following. Looking forward to the city expansion. Me too. I'm a little nervous. Like, I'm excited but nervous. Because um, it's harder than it looks. It's not just you don't just plop these down on a table and like boom you know they look great it like really takes some like moving around and some planning so i'm glad that we have space to do that without like uh making a mess or breaking anything but we still have the animals like i don't know if you were hearing this cat's just going to kind of walk across and that's sort of why we want to get into the garage too because uh, the cat eats things like the, the we saw her over like uh not she was over here uh, chewing on different pieces of the pirate ship. She seems to really like the little spiky things that are on the palace cinema, like using them as like toothpicks in her teeth. Um, so it's uh, a little bit more saving Lego in many ways than, than anything else. <clears throat> you guys, living room is so nice. Uh, seems like a nice place to hide that bodies. <laughs> Thanks, <B> <laughs> I don't know. It's very open, though, BFAB. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be the best space. And, and our, our kitchen cabinets are sort of a weird size. So I'm not sure you'd be able to fit a whole person inside one. Um, I don't know. Liam, can you get inside the cabinet? <laughs> 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 Try 
child services is on the way. <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. We have, we have the weirdest shaped closet. It's like it's like half a door wide. It's about like the door is like this wide. Just enough to hide a body. It is sideways though. <laughs> William's looking at me like I'm nuts. <laughs> but we do like the beams, like those beams right there and, and right there. <laughs> that one. Um, the spiral staircase is okay. It's a little it's a little challenging sometimes. Um, but if you didn't notice, there's our Millennium Falcon right there. It's kind of this weird little lofty thing um, kind of over the front door. So when you go up the staircase, there's like an open loft area to the front door area over there. So we were able to get up on a ladder and put the Star Wars. He's got the Millennium Falcon on the stand and he's got the most Eisley Cantina. And we also have uh, the Boone's Castle build for the Coliseum there. And we're actually going to put the, we have another Coliseum uh, that we're going to put up there as well. At least until we move downstairs, you can see the cat's body. Um, so it's a very open house, BPAB. I'm, I'm not sure about the, the whole possibility. We did fill in the swimming pool, though. I didn't say with what. Um, <clears throat> oh, well, if he fits. It would be more, that would be more, no more worrying about making dinner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are snacks in there, so he'd be good for a while. Uh, How's it going? It's going. What's in so what's what's the next layer? There's stairs. An apartment. Oh, there's an apartment. So it's got a fireplace. There's a fire fire a fireplace, like a little kitchen area, stairs, a little a little uh it's a it's an apartment for one apparently. Uh, so I, are you gonna go and put a bedroom on the next one or something? Or is this person just gonna sit sleep in that chair? Did they give you any food to put in the frying pan? No, no, that's not food. No, that's not food either. That obviously should have gone in the bottom. All right, let's see if we can, I can find some food here. I keep all the little pieces from the extras. I just throw them into this. And so I know, I bet you there is an egg in here or a dumpling. I know there's like a cookie. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find something. Oh, here's a like the little here's a little teacup. And what do you guys do with your extra pieces? I just I just shove them all in here, and then eventually, like, yeah. what's the matter? So when I was taking out oh. the celery, I knocked this can of like feta cheese, and then when I brought it back up, it was upside down and cheese spilled out. Okay, sounds yeah. like I got some cleanup to do. You wanna? Clean up my oh, the feta cheese just had an accident in the refrigerator, and the dog, couldn't be happy. And the dog is now eating feta cheese off the floor. Uh, so yeah, so I guess the uh, tomato cucumber salad is gonna be with a little less feta cheese. I love your cat. Thank you. Yes, she's a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, you can still see her nose. Isn't that cute? But she's evil. Every night before bed, when I come she out of the bathroom, mom. she attacks me. She waits and she attacks me. It's like this thing we have to do every night, no matter how angry I get. It's like a thing. And then she sleeps with us all night. Oh, let's see what she's going to do. I don't know. She might turn off the live stream, people. Oh. She's turning something. Oh, she, no, you can't. Uh-oh. You can't. You can't sit on the keyboard. No. No. Oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. See? Oh. 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 No bites. All right. <laughs> if your husband ever makes you you mad, your staircase is perfect. <laughs> uh, oh, stop. I, I, need to, I need to move my cursor. There you go. All right, the cat's in a, a mood, so <clears throat> sometimes we, we know the cat is in a mood and, and we kind of just have to watch ourselves. So we, we usually advi advise people when they come over not to, uh, here, here's a cookie. Put the cookie. Oh, there's another. 
put the cookie in the in the pan so that That's person cute. has something to eat. We usually advise people not to touch her, <laughs> even though she's she is kind of sweet. Like, you want to come sit with me? Come on, you want to sit? Come on. Oh, yeah, she's she's really sweet. I um, mean, she's big, uh, but it's best if people don't touch her. There we go. So sometimes this is how we do things in our house. Uh, and it's it was easier when she was uh, a kitten because then she wasn't heavy and she could hold herself up. But now um, I have to kind of support her. The cat does want all the attention. Um, she will cry to be picked up. She will look at me. There, we go. there she is. It's a good look, right? It's like it's like I have my own living fur stole or wrap. So this is how we do Lego, and this is why we want uh, a room that uh, has a door, preferably one that closes <laughs> and stays closed. So our live streams will be nothing but the cat meowing constantly and scratching the at the door. Um, but that would it would still be okay if we let her in for that kind of stuff. But just so that we know she's not. Um, eating the stuff in the middle of the night would be nice. You gonna be able to finish this, you think? I have no idea. How long do you plan on going? Oh, I don't know. For th how long have you been going for? Oh my goodness. Let's go till three. We'll make it, we'll do like 19 more minutes. So we'll, we'll be on for like 20 more minutes. I don't think I'm gonna finish. No, you probably won't finish. But you're really close. You're doing a bang up job over there. And I'll just sit here and hold the cat, I guess, so that the cat uh, doesn't attack us. Oh, oh. Yeah, everyone needs a cat bum. It's very cute. She's giant, though. Oh, where are you going? So we got stuff in the oh, oven. He didn't put it in the frying pan, so I would put it in the frying pan. Cat's tail is now moving the bricks around. My goodness, the cat hair is awful. Look at this. That is a lot of cat hair. I think the cat needs a good brushing or something because she is. Uh, hey, Brick Brain, how are you? I heard cats are nice to drop. Not sure if that's a true statement. Uh, she's <laughs> actually like um, fallen from that second floor balcony up there behind the stairs to the to the floor because um, there's like a ledge that goes around, but it's not. Uh, it's like a half wall. And I told Brian, I said, "You've got to go look. Like I can't. I cannot go and look. I just can't." And she was fine. Uh, but I was just thinking like, I was gonna be like a smushed cat down there. And I was like, no. Yeah, she hasn't done it since. She does a lot of crazy things, but. Oh, we've got, we got the dog in here. Hi. The dog doesn't like it when I hold the cat. Here, can you come say hi? Here. Oh, that'll go well. <laughs> It'll go well. Uh, <laughs> Oh, 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 I can't, I can't do both here. Um, they always do land on their feet though. I feel like they do, absolutely. I'm gonna put her down and then maybe, oh, this is gonna chase the cat. <laughs> every now and then, the dog is still afraid of the cat for sure. But every now and then the dog feels like antagonizing the cat and it's always a bad move. Come here, come on, hop up. Do you want to come see mama? You can say hi again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This one's a lot easier. Yes. I don't have to pick you up all the time. No. It's a good girl. Did you eat your supper? Is that it? You all done? Okay. Uh, Mr. Bricks, or my bricks to me, that's what my parents told me to when they used to drop me from the second story of the house. Who knows? 
Oh. <laughs> yes, we get all the animals in on the action. The dog is usually under the table, though. Every now and then she'll pop up to say to say hi and see what's going on. She sits on my lap in the morning while I drink coffee. So it's kind of fun. She's a good girl. She is a very sweet girl. I'm chill. You're a tank. You're like 70 pounds, and she's kind of short, but she is, uh, when she runs and bangs into you, you can feel it for sure. Uh, hey, Top Bricks, how's it going? How's it going? Nice to have you join. We'll be on for a little bit longer. Brian's going to finish up whatever he can get done here, and then we're going to eat our poppers. Did he have a vegetable? Was that what he was getting, his celery? Yes. Okay. Thank you. She is adorable. How is your dog feeling? Were you able to get some help from the vet today? Because I know your doggy wasn't feeling so well. Is that it? Next four? Let's see. So we got the next floor on, which is the little star of that little apartment. So that's pretty cool that we have one more uh, portion left to put on top. Is this food still in the oven? No. Oh. Awesome. I'm so excited. This one felt like it went by a lot faster than some of the other modules, though. Maybe because there isn't a whole lot of detail and the building techniques in it are not... Um, they don't make you look at the the page a couple of times. I guess you don't really need this. <clears throat> and we got some. And then for those of you who just popped on, uh, I was building this little uh, 2013 promo uh, hot dog cart for the city. And the instructions kind of showed it looking like it may have uh, been out around the time of the Palace Cinema. Uh, so that's kind of cute, and we had some cute little mini pigs with that, with that, and a and a bicycle. So this is actually the second uh, hot dog stand that I have for the city. I didn't realize there were two versions, so I just picked this one up to add a little uh, little detail to the city when we get to that stage. What set are you going to build next, do you think? The Upside Down. Oh, he wants to build the Stranger Things set. What are you looking for? A little elbow piece. Oh. I think they're in there. They're not, it's not out here. It isn't here. It isn't there. I know it is because I put it in there. You're so smart. Yeah, I am. Very smart. Uh, thank you, Sarah. He seems to be doing a bit better. I've been giving him extra love and snuggles. Hopefully, he gets better as the days go by. Yeah, absolutely. Build the USC, build the UCS BFAB next. <laughs> I think we, oh, you're going to build the UCS Sandcrawler next, is what you're going to build. I bet. Yeah. yeah, that's coming tomorrow. Uh, Top Breaks is building the Stranger Things set. It's a great build. That's that's definitely his set for sure. I have no love for Stranger Things. He's a Stranger Thing. I love him, but <laughs> the movie not so much. Doing a good job. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. I heard that giving positive reinforcement helps. The occasional taser doesn't hurt either, <laughs> apparently. Apparently, it's been tried. You've tried it. Hey, Abs Bricks, how are you? Welcome Thanks back. for coming back. We're uh, wrapping up the pet shop. Finally, I, I gave it to my husband to finish building. He he uh, he did the Ecto One car earlier. We were missing the wheels on that one. Um, it was a used set, and the guy sent us the wrong wheels. So. He finished up as much as he could on the car, which I think is done except for the wheels, right? Yeah, just uh, sitting in the city on some cinder blocks. Yeah, so uh, I passed along the, the, the pet shop to him to finish up since he's 
much more efficient at building and I'm much more efficient at talking. So it's a good compromise. And yeah, my bricks, I mean, I don't know you and, and Trevor, you've never seen the show yet. You have to set. That is something else. Because uh, it's awesome. <laughs> Oh my God, you get tased too, twitting. See, <laughs> you guys have so much in common. Um, uh, wow, Ecto One, great set, still on my list to get. It was came as part of a, the used, not the big Ecto One, um, not the display one, but the one that is in scale with the headquarters. That came with the the uh, used set that we bought, um, and uh, the guy showed us that all the pieces were there. Um, so far, um, he was not completely accurate. So I do need to get in touch with him um, because the, it, not so much the uh, rubber part of the wheel, but the, <clears throat> what's it called? The rim. The rim. They are not the right rims to attach. Yeah, it is, you gotta have, uh, gotta have both the Ecto-1 if you're gonna have the headquarters for sure. Cause that'll be nice in the city. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, the pet shop was such a fun build, says Kip Hoffman. Thank you, Kip, for joining us. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we've actually been really enjoying it. I built most of this one, and I just passed it along to him to finish up so I could chat. Um, but I, I did, actually. This really stood out to me. I actually didn't think I was – I don't know. I, I, I want all the modulars in the city, and I did not think this was going to be very much fun to build. But it turns out that it was a lot more funner. <laughs> Way more fun. It was the funnest uh, than I than I thought it would be. So I'm kind of excited by that. Uh, what uh, Kip? What are you up to? What Lego theme is? Um, what Lego theme strike your fancy? That's a Lego addiction. I mean, dedication. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I'm not sure. Still, the Stranger Things doesn't doesn't uh, ring that bell for me. I have the HQ, the set, it's so sexy, I'll be bad. Uh, it is, it's pretty glamorous, isn't it? It, it? it makes any city come alive, but I think that's by far my number one set. Like I definitely, um, I don't regret purchasing at all. I kind of regret purchasing it used, but like I don't, don't regret making the purchase. So. I am glad it's in the city and I'm going to put it along the back because it's so tall. Maybe put the town hall next to it. What are you looking for? You're shaking the container like you can't find something. What? Oh, white piece? Oh, like this one here? Like this one. There you like go. <laughs> the party boat will be number one after you build it. <laughs> uh, the party boat. This? Is that tan jam that just came no, out? No, that's okay. That's, so here it is, Chloe. Here it is. <laughs> oh, I just oh, dropped it. Goodness. I dropped it. Can't build it. I dropped it. Um, the H, uh, the HQ is better looking than anyone I've been with. <laughs> okay, just remember, family friendly beef have. Um, uh, Kip hop. <coughs> is that COVID? <coughs> I don't have COVID. <laughs> I don't have COVID. I just have a cough. <laughs> no COVID. Um, I'm a city builder. I like the modular building sets, but I like building mock modulars too. Absolutely. We are we are totally city builders here as well. Do you do like your your own custom mocks? That's that always intrigues me. Do you do any of the rebrickable alternatives too? Um, we do a lot of those or and also have plans to do a lot of them. Uh, we just got a whole bunch of tables and are ready to go um, for really expanding the city right now. I have tons of white open space, just tons of it. And we have a lot of backlog to cover to fill it. It's not my fault. They were ugly. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh. Always a good time. Always a good time. Uh, what stage is your city in, Kip? Is it? Uh, do you have New York, Idaho? I didn't say state. Did I? You did. I did not. I yes, said, you did. <coughs> it's my braces. I said stage. <laughs> I need to. When I first got the braces, I needed to learn how to articulate words and enunciate, and sometimes open my mouth more and really, really say. <laughs> 
the word with with gusto, but no, what stage? Uh, I like buying sets like the Hidden Side Haunted High School and turning them into modules. Oh, awesome! Very cool. I have not um, I have not been able to uh, get into that mode yet, but I'm hoping uh, I have some Lego store sets put aside to kind of put all into one. I'm hoping um, to try to give that a go. Uh, let's see, Top Bricks isn't finished building Stranger Things yet, building it with a friend, but we have loved it nice. so far. Yeah, I heard that it's a good set to build alongside someone because one of you can do uh, the upside down and one of you can do the right side up. I don't want to do either, so he can build it all. I get to all. do it all. <laughs> but with like Diagon Alley, we, we all had, we were each able to take a part. I wish they had more sets like that with the divided um manuals and things so you could all sort of work together as a as a family project or a friend project kind of thing couple project <clears throat> uh let's see trees overall are not my favorite thing to build however they were really cool and i love how extremely sturdy they are they have to be you kind of sit the the whole thing on top of them don't you that's uh that's crazy i don't know I, uh, we kind of have room to display it. I feel like I could see that like tipping over if like, I don't know if like my son like shook the floor by accident, like jumping up and down. Um, I don't know how sturdy, like if we want to build it until we're into our new space or not. Uh, same with like a, the bat wing, because I want to hang that up. And if we build it now, it's just going to lay flat and collect dust. And I know it'll collect dust, but I guess I can prolong uh, how long it takes to collect dust. I really want Diagon Alley, but it's uh, a ways away for me. Yeah, it's a it's a super expensive set for sure. I don't know. I'll be honest, like we, we bought it, we built it, but I, I don't feel like for me it was like, ooh. I kind of wish they were closed in, um, but a lot of cool little detail for sure. A lot of stickers. Uh, my city is always under construction. Uh, yeah, I am expanding. I have two new 40 by 80 tables getting delivered this coming Saturday. Mm, awesome. Sounds like fun. What tables are you having delivered? I'm not in love with the tables that I bought. I don't think I'll be keeping them in the future, though. So I'm uh, kind of on the lookout for figuring out what tables we're going to be using when we get into the new space. Um. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> Cosmo is still here with us. Uh, which modular are you building next? I think I'm going to pull out the brick bank um, that was requested. So we still have uh, to be built. We've got the police station. We have the brick bank. We have the grand emporium. We have the town hall. Those are the four inbox we have left, right? I think so. And then we have an assembly square for the alt build, a bookshop for the alt build and two garages for the outbuild. So we potentially have, oh, no, I didn't count. So that's four. And then if we have the police station, the brick bank, the grand emporium, and the town hall. So that's eight more modulars we have um, possibly to add to the city, right? Yep. So that's pretty sweet. And then I'm looking to get some sort of carousel for the, and build a park in the middle. And I have lots of houses, but I'm not sure if I have enough space uh, on those tables to start a residential area yet. So we'll have to see. Uh, <clears throat> I loved Diagon Alley, but it's so big, uh, be hard to place it. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it in the city for sure. We're gonna make a really cool uh, Harry Potter display on one wall and kind of leave it at that. <clears throat> um, where, uh, Agree, RG Bricks. I think I got that right. Where is your New England accent? I think it's hidden. I don't know what a New England accent is. We're not from Boston. Boston have it, yeah. we, we are not from Boston. <laughs> so we definitely don't have that accent. Um, and I have a cold, so I have a cold accent. Uh, so as far as a New England accent goes, I'm not quite sure. I... I I eat lobster. I don't eat lobster. 
I can't, I don't think I can do a Boston accent. He can do any kind of accent. Um, it does sound like a great expansion, Kit Hoffman. Um, yeah, I like, I've just seen different ways that people have placed it. And there's, you know, you can make cool little sliding walls and things. Um, but I'm not sure if I'll put it, I don't, it definitely doesn't have a space in the city at the moment. I'm starting to think it is going to be displayed rather than in the city because it's so hard to place as Chloe said. Yeah, it is hard. Same with like the open back of the Sesame Street unless you turn it into a module. It just kind of gets like, um, you know, you can you can have them face each other. So you have that narrow little alley and then you can tuck them between buildings. So I think really that's the kind of the neatest way to display it in a way that's um, quiet. So I've seen some people display it, you know, front on, so you can see all four really nicely. Um, so lots of different ways. Um, Abs Brick says, I love BrickBank, awesome module. Yeah, I've heard a lot of great reviews about it. So I'm really excited to launch you some money this week. <laughs> I actually launder money all the time. <laughs> I have, <laughs> but not in that way, <laughs> in case the CIA or whoever's listening. Um, I, I take laundry money out of the dryer. I have like $4 bills up in the, the little basket upstairs. They're all like crumpled up and rolled up. Finally, we're rich. <laughs> we're rich. Uh, I've also pulled Lego out of the dryer as well. I, I don't know why. There must have been like a Lego leaf in my pocket. So it went through the dryer and, and the washer. Uh, uh, they are actually dining room tables from Rooms to Go. Okay. I have one of the same tables already, so this will triple my space. Very nice. Uh, that's a good idea. I'm actually going to kind of take a look at that. I don't um, – those sound like good sizes. I don't love um, – I didn't really think about that. You know, I don't love what Ikea um, has right now. So I think that's awesome. I'm going to take a look. I want the brick bank and the detective office. Those are both at the very top of my wanted list. Awesome. Trick. We actually just built that on a live stream, not the detective's office, not too long ago. Oh, it's way over there. It was so cool. I really like that one. Um, I got, oh, I tried to buy as many as I could back, way back in January, February, when I saw like all the pricing and they just keep going up and up. The last two that I need from like the, uh, Whole modular list are the green grocer and the cafe corner, and um, I just haven't, I just haven't done it yet. You know, I, I always look and I always think about it, but I just haven't done it yet. Uh, you know, I know there's so much. All right, Abby Briggs, thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, we got Kelly Ann back. <laughs> I like the Grand Hotel; would make a great modular, but would be expensive. I feel like a great. Read that a little bit. I feel like a grand hotel would make a great modular, but would be expensive. Yeah, I mean, they could totally do a corner unit with a grand hotel, and and the Assembly Square is is pricey. So they certainly could do another like base plate and a half type deal. I think a hotel would be cool because you could have, um, you know, all the floors up top, and you could have a cafe in the bottom, and maybe like a little um, clothing store, jewelry store as well, because sometimes they have them, the shops underneath. That would be pretty awesome. Mm. Uh, these were 300 a piece, but will hold probably six to 700 pounds, so worth the price. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we were talking about having custom tables made once we played around with these enough to see um, potentially what kind of sizes would make for a good layout. Uh, the new sizes that Ikea's got out now um, makes it really tough. You almost have to buy three tables at once to make one table. And then, um, you know, I don't know if I want, like, I, do you have your in, like, a, a C shape or, like, an L shape or one big rectangle? Uh, I want to be able to play around with that. But the way these tables are sized, it's really hard. Um, so it's a good start, but definitely not the uh, the end result for us. So we'll have to we'll have to see. I know IKEA had some bigger tabletops. Um, what are you looking for? You must have it. Another one of those. What is it? I mean, you, you must have it. Okay.
he might not have it. I have it. <laughs> yeah, right. We have an extensive parts collection. So luckily when we're not seeing something that we should have, um, I wonder if I use it. That's weird though, like you know that we don't have that piece. Just a little one by two with like the almost like the gutter attachment on the front. I don't know a better word for that. Um, but I, I would definitely like to have less small tables and bigger tables. You know, I feel like um, if we want to move this around, it's really going to be challenging because there are rows of three tables um, and you gotta just kinda, they, they're not just gonna all move. You know, you're gonna have to move each one independently. I'm really interested uh, to hear Kelly more about Ann these tables. Yeah, absolutely, Kellyanne. It's I know five hours. You're like midnight. Like I'm almost at my bedtime, and you're like midnight. Um, uh, just sold my detective's office this morning for five hundred. Um, I'm buying the most Isley and R two D two for the May the fourth. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that you were able to uh, trade in something that you didn't, you weren't getting joy from. <laughs> I remember who was that person the, the spark joy oh, what was her name gosh oh Marie Kondo so if it didn't spark joy you know you gotta you gotta say thank it for its service and pass it along and that's what you did uh that's awesome so uh yeah we're gonna pick up R2D2 too we oh no oh no I'm sorry hold on I'm holding all right um we're gonna pick up R2D2 too uh, these have a leaf in the middle, so they can drop to 40 by 60, but they will be in a C shape at full length. Okay, absolutely. I like that idea. That was my original. A C shape was totally my original idea. I was going to have the, the main drag, and then I was actually going to have like um, an ocean off of one side with houses and like a forest off of one side with houses. Uh, and so far, I'm struggling with that with these tables. I would either need, I guess I would need three more. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to look at your tables. <laughs> uh, okay, Trevor, yeah, <laughs> go to bed. Go to bed. Is Chloe going to stay up? She needs to go to bed, too. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Trevor. Thank you, Kellyanne. Thank you, Chloe. You guys are great. Um, Let's see. I'm so happy, unhappy with Ikea, and I really wish I could decide on a table layout that I love. Yeah, I'm wondering I'm wondering if it's just all the, the different shapes, you know, that we have, my bricks and me, and not just the sizes of tables instead of just having, like, like uh, kit pads with just these, hey, these three big, three big, ah! Stop! <laughs> um... Josh. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll definitely see. Uh, yeah, Chloe's going to head off to sleep now, too. Great stream, and the build is coming along well. Good night. Thank you. Um, one table will be a theme park, and the other two city for now. Awesome. Awesome. Do you have all, do you have like the roller coaster and the carousel and um, all of those, the Disney Castle? Will those be in your theme park? Uh, we have them all. We're just not quite sure what we're going to do yet. It's like trying to play Tetris with pieces that don't fit. I feel it. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I think that, um, you know, the, the allure of the Ikea table may have worn off. I feel like. Um, but I, I really, I like, I like Kip's idea. And because in 40 by 80, you won't have a lot of overhang. I know the base plates aren't perfect 10 inches, so you will have a little bit, um, but that's not bad at all. You're getting pretty far there. Okay, so on the next little area, there is a bed. So the person in the uh, little apartment over the pet store actually gets a bed, a little bed in a very- It's like a tiny house. <laughs> it's like a tiny house. <laughs> He gets a lamp and he gets a bed and some stairs. I'm not done yet. There's not a lot left to be done with. 
You get like it's like maybe some sunroofy things. It's coming along good though. Doing a good job. Oh, thank you, dear. You're welcome. <clears throat> and it's almost gonna finish up there. You need any help? Would you like to help? Um, what can I help with? Oh, you need those pieces. You need 16. Is that what it says? No. You do need 16. All right. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen, fourteen, fourteen. Did I count them wrong? Uh oh, mommy. No, I didn't count them. I was like covering cat hair. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Might be part of our problem. All right, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I, I counted wrong. 14, 16. There, I helped. Um, you still these? need two more, Mommy. You don't need two more. Okay. You, need, you need these. There you go. You have those. Uh, you need the carousel, but just got the Ferris wheel and have the roller coaster and a modified version of the high swings from the Friends Dockside Park and a couple three-in-one creator sets. Awesome. Do you have the Haunted House Drop Ride? I see that in there sometimes. Um, I know my Bricks and Me there is doing a, a whole theme park. She's got uh, some stuff set up for that. Do you have the Friends Party Boat? Oh, Kip, do you have the Friends Party Boat? Because there's a whole Friends Party Boat thing we're doing. <laughs> uh, it's really okay if you don't, though, because I don't really want it. Um, yeah, the swings are pretty cool. I always like that ride, too. Getting the haunted house in a couple of weeks with all my VIP points. Awesome. Awesome. Do you do Star Wars at all? Are you going to get um, Star Warsy stuff for VIP points next week, too? Or did you just uh, use it all in last time's VIP points? You need yep. two of those, like those. No, I need those yet. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, I'll get you ready for this, though. So helpful. I'm being helpful. Now, I don't know if we'll do a theme park, um, at least in the very beginning, because I really am working on a foresty section and an oceany section. <clears throat> but I do have. Um, I hope you got two more of these for me. Yes. Okay. Oh, was I supposed to give you four? Oh, yeah. There you go. But uh, I think I'd be out of tables before I can get to anything like that. No swings for you, Sarah. It's a it's friend's theme. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how the party go goes. Um, I'll buy Star Wars sets to part out from... <laughs> Chat, not doing your job. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll buy Star Wars sets to part out for Mox. They have great pieces. Awesome. Which sets? Which sets do you look at for that? Awesome. Look at that. We're almost done. Keep going. Keep going. You're almost there. Aye, aye, Cap. I know we went like way past the time. All right, guys. We're gonna finish up the roof, and then we're gonna call it good because we're gonna eat dinner. Good. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to be live streaming after our Lego shopping trip. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to decide. I'm going to try to decide on time and schedule it because I know we're going to go out to Ikea first thing in the morning for when the store opens. We're going to get in line and wait. We're going to um, get in line and wait at Ikea? No, no. We're going to go to the Lego store when it opens. Okay. And we're going to get in line and wait so that we can get all the good stuff I'm tomorrow. glad I'm here to supervise you. Yes, you have to supervise what I say. Um, and then we're going to go over to Ikea really quick and grab a couple more things. Um, if I feel like it. If I don't feel like it after the Lego store, I might not. And I may not. 
um, after I've waited in line and and uh, dealt with people, dealt with people, and then tried to videotape stuff. And then realized she's been talking without hitting record. Yeah, and then yeah, so we'll see. But then uh, maybe you know, then maybe um, not as late as this time. I don't know if we'll do it this late, but maybe like at two ish or two thirty ish or three ish. Sure. I'm just trying to estimate like what time we would get back from actually doing that stuff. Uh, any and all of them that just look interesting. Nice. Yeah, we just bought a handful of Star Wars sets today, but we'll build them for, for what they are. I wanted all the buildable characters now that we're getting R2-D2, so... Um, we should have all the buildable characters, but I need to check on an eBay uh, auction to see if they accepted my offer. <clears throat> so he'll be doing all, probably all Star Wars building all month long, and I'll be working on the city. <laughs> I don't know if he loves working on the city with me as much as he loves some of the other sets. Oh, well, yeah, we're kind of, now that it's getting dark, we have no light coming in from over there. You can tell the light. It's okay, the glow on my skull. I know, and that, I, can, I can put my head in front of that light there, um, but it doesn't look good. We've got to get the camera stuff going. Awesome. Looking good. I'm really impressed with this. I didn't think I was going to love it. I thought I was just going to build and kind of get it over with, but I like it way more than I thought I would. <coughs> I'm looking forward to building the brick bank next, but then the town hall, because I, I really want to build the wedding ceremony. That's really, that's really exciting for me. You build them first just to build them, and then they get parted out. Building them teaches techniques to use and other things. Absolutely. Um, building as much as you can of all kinds is a great way to uh, learn learn how things go together um, and how pieces work in different situations. It's clear just from building, um, you know, we built the Coliseum and then unbuilt it to build that Boone's Castle outbuild and just seeing the way even those pieces can be reused for something else is pretty intriguing. Yes, it was awesome. The painstaking hours that I put in building the Coliseum to watch my wife and son happily demolish it <laughs> so we could, so they could have me rebuild something else. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. You know, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then we bought another Coliseum uh, and we're letting a friend of my son's build it uh, because since we already had the pleasure of building one, but we wanted, we didn't want to unbuild the Boone's Castle. We, to re we, we had it's the a, pleasure of building it's one. It's a collective we. Um, <laughs> you know, we wanted to keep the castle and we wanted the Coliseum. So we got another Coliseum to, to build. And since we already built one, we felt like it'd be okay to let a friend build it. So. And that friend really likes all the architecture yeah. sets. So he's having a lot of fun were... building it. Yeah, he's like an architecture guy, so. Oh, Hiding I'm pieces. sorry. I feel like I feel like you're probably gonna need this one. Nope. No. Well. <laughs> you didn't need this one? No. Nope. Did you need this one? Nope. Okay. <laughs> we can find out what I missed later. Oh. That's the that's the fun of building on live stream is. Oh uh, yeah, so we have these interesting three pieces left. So we'll have to see like uh, um, where those belong. That's so, pieces that she. Oh wait, was right here. Did you put these two together? Yes, dear. Okay. I guess these could be pieces that I was building because that's what I do a lot. Um. What are you getting at the Lego store? Uh, the helmets, um, the Star Wars helmets, the probe droid, the Batman car, I think will be it for um, tomorrow. If they have the flower bouquet, I'll pick one up because I haven't been able to get that one. Um, it might have just been an extra piece. 
Oh, really? Right there. Really? It's the yeah. only place I see it. Okay. Um, so that's it. Are you going to the store tomorrow oh, too, Cosmo? You know why I was missing a piece? Why? Because you oh. put that there. Oh. That goes here. Oh. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, any particular train you're going to build around your city? I have both the passenger and the cargo train. Um, I do it this Hogwarts time. Hogwarts Express. No. Um, I feel like at this time, my table is not big enough. Kip, are you going to use one too? Um, are you going to put one with those tables that you have? I feel like a C shape makes it even harder to do a train. Uh, it's done. Yes, Charlie. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we're, we're, uh, it's done. We did it. We did the pet shop um, on its mills plate. Isn't that awesome? Just to show you guys, I can hold the, I can hold it with one hand. That's what I love about mills. Look at that masterpiece. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> we followed the directions very well. <laughs> this is my little baby. Oh, so we'll get this lit up too. The goal is to light up every modular in the city. Um, he's got to get on the detective's office. He's slacking yes, over there. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of things on his list. Um, even friend sets get built, but usually, but get torn apart for pieces. Yeah, they do have a lot of good pieces. They have great colors. I just wish the figures weren't those weird looking doll things. Yeah. They kind of, uh, in my opinion, they also miss the mark, um, with the point of, of doing those whole sets. Uh, thanks, Starla. It's an awesome build. We followed directions. We're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, agree 100%, Kip. Uh, uh, awesome color. Super fun. But I wish for the minifigs over the dolls. Yeah, I feel like they totally could have just done the minifigs and it would have been good, you know? Yes, she is letting me know what to do next, Darla Bricks. Everything. She's already letting you know. Well, yes, everything. Everything. Busy day tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, we had fun. We streamed way longer than we were expecting. I need to learn how to um, put a limit on it, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm bad. But it's oh so good. I could just keep going, but you can tell our lighting has changed a lot. My skin texture is not looking very good now. <laughs> so we'll have to, to, have to think about that. Your skin texture is looking wonderful. Thank you, dear. It's great. <laughs> Uh, have a good night. Uh, really entertaining stream. Thanks, guys. We try to be entertaining. We try. Doesn't always happen, but every now and then we get it right. Yep. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks to everyone so much for coming out. Um, thank you to my lovely moderator, my bricks and me. I appreciate your help, my friend. Cosmo, always happy to have you on. Charlie, Darla Bricks, Kip, so glad to have a new face in the, in the chat. Juliet. I don't even know if everyone else agreed. Bricks is still on. Um, oh, I thought my son was yelling. We've already got some people who've gone to bed because they're in a different time zone. Appreciate Abs, Bricks, and BFAB for stopping by too. So great uh, to see everybody. Great to see everyone. We're going to go shopping tomorrow. We'll have a shopping video. We're going to do some live streaming and building some cool new sets to show everyone. So we're really excited about that. So as it stands now, we are going to say good night. We are going to press the red and the stream button is where we need the cat now to help us. So thanks, everyone. Have an awesome night. Build something fun tomorrow. And we'll see you in the next one.